Let me go ping the living world so that people can watch. At everyone. At, at everyone, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, at, at everyone. Yo, I got something you should check out. <laughs> watch this or die. At living world. At, at going live, D. The party continues their quests and quests the quest the quest I I can type quest of seeking out the sh shrines of Elderia and coming uh, not coming discovering the root of the Mysterious the light cult. There we go. That seemed that uh, would grab somebody's attention. Yeah, there we go. I should probably put the link to my Twitch channel on there before hitting enter. Nah, make them work for it. That's how you know who the real fans are. <laughs> True. Uh, I was talking with our earlobe earlier, and he was just like, "I'm gonna be watching, judging you for how you use the play." I'm like, "Ah, right, cool, cool." Had to use it all wrong just to mess with him. <laughs> he is watching right now. <laughs> He's. <l> <laughs> he was joking, being like, "Hey, I'm just gonna DM you dumb shit while I'm streaming just to fuck with you." All right, that that's the six rays we get. Let's get into this. So, who wants to do the recap? Who wants to recap what happened last session? Uh, all right, check it. <laughs> we were in the church. We got attacked by horrible blight monsters. We kicked their ass, destroyed mm -hmm. them, mm -hmm. quite simply. And then uh, Billy Terrorist decides to hop down from the roof and try to do his villain monologue at us. But we were like, no, die. And we tried to apprehend him, but then he ran away. And then he left us messages like, babe, please take me <laughs> back. I swear. <laughs> I won't make the same mistake again, please. But we're not here for it. And then we're going to clear a new, another shrine. Mm hmm. Is that it? Did I win? Yeah. Um, actually, it's not a church. It was a shrine. Idiot. Uh, guns, you down in the, guns you down in the street. Well, fucking dies, I guess. Yep, yep. Roll a new character. Finally. So, just, just... Just to make sure, mm. uh, the NPCs are currently being we're we're being moved around just then, right? And and being hidden and rehidden. It's not my yeah yeah. Those that, that be pretty them. much that was me okay. resetting the scene for the morning. Yeah, I was just like, uh, yeah. No, you're good. Things are just vanishing. What's going on? Me swapping people. Uh, around. I was just replacing my token with a slightly updated one. Okay. Yeah, make sure you got everything updated. Mm -hmm. Right. The party awakens what? the next day. Up to date? I hope so. Yeah. Crawls out of bed. Uh. Stumbles down here. Uh, morning, folks. No offense, you guys kind of look a bit like shit. Make it as dark as you can. I hop up on the at the counter. Ah, uh, boss. He starts brewing. <laughs> Marana's just like, like constantly casting prestigitate prestidigitation on herself, just all over, <laughs> trying to fucking clean herself up a bit. <laughs> Hello, guys. Ugh. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> he places a coffee cup in front of Ladeka and pretty much offers one to Arana. <laughs> she will take it. And she will also have a cigarette with it. She'll take the. And she'll take both outside. And just drink it out there. The the barkeep will nod in appreciation. Yeah. 
So, any big plans for today? Depends. Is there anything in your city that would help us in our mission, or should we just we can just go on? Hmm. I haven't t didn't have the time to look around, to be honest. Ah, uh, well. We're mostly self-sufficient here. We don't really rely on any imports too much, so... Um, you could probably ask around, see if anybody needs help. He'll shrug. I can do that, yeah. Most people don't really ask actively for help if you're around here. Plus, we don't really see many of you adventuring types and people like you. Well, if anybody is looking for help, and you know, let us know. But otherwise, yeah, we can take a look. Of course. People. He'll, he'll get like a play of like egg, sausage, and place one in front of each of you. It's on the house. Oh, thank you. Dika nods and takes it. <laughs> Immediately consumes it. <laughs> Glad to see you enjoyed it. <laughs> we'll go back to cleaning up glasses and eyeing the town drunk who is currently on the floor. Giggling. Early in the morning. Well, you know what they say, you gotta start drinking fairly early to stay wasted all day. Do they say that? Yeah, I mean, he says that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I have one spell that could just absolutely fucking ruin his day. <laughs> it's magic missile because you're gonna kill him. Yeah, that... I'm just going to kill him. I'm just <laughs> yeah. going to murder him. Yep, yep, mm hmm. I mean, that, 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 that would ruin a day. It's okay, just quick save. True. Quick save before you do you it. You don't mind save scumming, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> God. The morning passes, you guys enjoy your coffees, your food, any other drinks that you request. Now the question is, what does the party wish to do? Well, sounds like making sure that the city isn't being blighted might be a good turn. Otherwise, attacked, I guess, from creatures or people. Otherwise, we could check, but we ought to make our way to the next shrine, especially if that man we're pursuing is going to continue with his plans. I mean, we were hired to keep checking out the shrines, I'm pretty sure. You can ask around a bit, see how everything's fair, and see if there's news of the shrine, but. I mean, if, if it turns out he did something in this town and just move on, it's a little bit, you know, we already here, so. Yeah, that's why I'm saying we should ask around a little. Then, if we can't find anything, we move on. Yeah. Which way was the <laughs> town, like, relative to the shrine we were at? Uh, it... it was north. Yeah, pretty much directly north, more or less. Hmm. Grabs Just the right map. Away. Just right away. Slash me for some reason can't scale up the map. I think it's posted. Uh, it's pasting as a token. There you go. It should be oh, a way yeah. to put it as an object. Yeah, but basically, yeah. Here's shrine two. Here's Arcadia, and this is vaguely where the next shrine would be. It's a good map. And this is another city? Uh, yes, it is another settlement. Okay. And 
you would know the name of. Let me go get that for you. I do have the one with the names on it. Do you? <laughs> I'll yeah, place, it, one. place her down. <laughs> How many days is it to the next trend? No? Uh, it would be about a day's journey. Okay, not too bad. Can I place it as an object? Probably not. Yeah, I could just bloop. make big. Yeah, there it's there is its name. Ah uh, yes, Shalins. <laughs> so are those? Was it only the shrines in the mountain range that went silent, or was it also the, rain, the shrines over here? Pretty much, the reports that you got from the Inquisition was that these two shrines have gone quiet, and they're also concerned that these might be next targets. Okay. Well, we weren't playing to stay a long time here anyway but give it a short look see if anything is all right then trying to prevent whatever else is going to happen nods on her fourth cup of coffee <laughs> <laughs> the barkeeper just I'm looking at you <laughs> i wish <laughs> Elrond will like pat her on the fucking back. I don't like <laughs> Well, I think he's staying around here, I guess. Let's uh, ask around, I suppose. See what we can find. Yeah. It, oh. Wait, which one's. Let's take a pen. Which one is speech? Uh, control space. Oh, there it is. And then shift space if you want to think. Yeah, I, I mix them up. Yeah. Slash, I always mix slash them up. me points. Dude, stop! Stop! <laughs> it shouldn't take too long, right? It's not that big of a town, right? No, nah, probably. Probably shouldn't take too long. Mm. I mean, earlier the better, I guess. Oh, I forgot uh, this isn't Foundry. I can't use the arrow key. <laughs> Why am I not moving? I mean, you can use the arrow keys. It's just if you're not snapped to grid, it's uh, like inches at a time. Oh. Snaps the grid so I can use the arrow. Yo, they key. zoom in like, <laughs> like at the party yeah. move. <laughs> oh, it doesn't even actually. It moves you like a hundredth at a time. <laughs> I don't know if I could. I, you probably could adjust that. Oh, well, yeah, I don't know how low. <laughs> I guess it's if we see the people, I guess we'll talk to people if we see anyone on the streets or. Notice any? Well, I guess I'll keep my eyes open in case I notice anything off blood related or otherwise. Yeah, you don't see too many people walking the streets. Uh, each of these houses are sort of. You can see that they're pretty much like home shaped. They're not like any. They're people. They're where people live. Through their homes. I should probably turn off the dark vision and get aura. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's. The thing is, everyone has to turn it off, otherwise you just see or uh, yeah, it's a giant circle anyway. <laughs> <laughs> do you really like it? Uh, do you like knock on any of doors or are you looking for like people on the street? I guess uh, I can give it a light knock and just go sw do a swift. Well, right. we waited probably for a reasonable time for people to wake up, so... Yeah, ta time-wise, it's probably around, like, 9.30 to 10. Yeah, so... A little bit of an 
adventure here, any problems, and you know, that kind of stuff. <laughs> Traveling through. Knock, knock, adventure service. <laughs> <laughs> open up, open up right now. Uh, Rana would just uh, <laughs> approach like anyone at all. She might knock on doors just to ask if they've seen a death elf <laughs> at all. Yeah. Uh, just around. The deacon will muster up the courage to walk up to anybody. All right. Oh, but sorry. H have you seen anyone that looks like they might want to kill people? <laughs> so we'll go in order. First, the knock from Zavar. Uh, your knock goes unanswered. It appears no one's home. They're dead. They're so dead. And they're blighted. <laughs> and <laughs> Lorana, you pretty much go up to someone walking about and uh, ask if they see a death health, and they're like, I can't say I have. Uh, most people I see around town are human, dwarf, a couple dragonborns, no real elf types. Sort of looks at your ears. Well, I've seen like maybe a elf today. Uh, well, I'm not an elf. Not? <laughs> Double checks your ears. <laughs> Looks down, sees your tail. Oh, my bad. <laughs> Got the... Yeah. Okay, I... Squint. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is like the third time I've been mistaken for something else. Uh, I don't think anyone knows what I am anymore. Yeah, my apologies. Uh, that's fine, I don't care. That's rude of me. <laughs> Serve. Awkwardly laughs and leaves. <laughs> Meanwhile, <laughs> Lateka, you go up to someone and ask them, have you seen anyone who looks like they're going to kill people? <laughs> and to which you see like this sort of like not much taller than you sort of man, like sort of looks at you and says, I'll let you in on a little secret. Stroven over there. He probably has a few skeletons in his closet. Uh, <laughs> He's gesturing it. towards the lake. <laughs> I keep my eye on him. Uh, uh okay. Uh, thank you. I appreciate it. Well, thank you for looking out for our townsfolk. And, hey, if you do find out that he's murdered someone, tell him I told them so. All right. Uh, thank you, sir. Yeah. He sort of like walks off. <laughs> I think it wasn't actually expecting a response. <laughs> um, she'll go to the, the gang. Uh, I might have a lead or I might have uncovered a town grudge. There's someone by the lake by the name of Shroven, I believe. One of the townsfolk doesn't seem to trust him very much. But this is just the musings of one person. I mean, no, that's not much. We can just talk to him, though. We could. It's better than nothing. Wait, where was he? Uh, he was by a lake. Looks at the lake. Oh. That one. <laughs> yeah, you, you sort of see, like, someone on the dock, like, preparing a, like, boat. Alright. Rana would head on over that. I fast travel over. <laughs> using the <laughs> waypoint. We're not, we're not going in up. the lake, are we? Fast travel's back. Oh, no, I don't think so. Fast travel's back to the pier. <laughs> uh, before it's about travel... Off, he probably would finish up, up those two doors first in case there's anything going on. Uh, as you knock on both of them, it seems that none of these houses are currently occupied. Three houses. Uh, those are done. Uh, right side is done. Left side only left. <laughs> <laughs> the man sort of sees the group approach and says, can I help y'all? Oh, yeah. Uh, sorry, you, we didn't want to take too much of your time. Uh, you want fish? Go talk to my wife. Any gestures to this building? Uh, well, 
Okay, uh, thank you, but we were wondering if you'd seen someone recently. Uh, you haven't happened to see, like, a, a death elf recently? Kind of skinny? Kind of wessel black? Uh, nah, haven't. Or did you see oh. anything that uh, might require a adventure to look at? Suspicious or dangerous, I guess. I mean, <laughs> he'll sort of look at you guys. You guys are the most active part of this town. I mean, can you fish? Uh, do I look like I can? No. Yeah. Then, Precisely. I don't think any of y'all gonna be of help. <laughs> Nothing strange about the lake, so oh wait, so something is strange about I the lake. I fished before. Well, I mean fish aren't biting as much as they have been before, but I think that might just be the seasons tends to happen. Actually, have you caught any like weird fish? I mean or recently, I should say. Very recently. Oh, recently? Define recently. Is like a year ago recent? Uh, let's say like two weeks? Ah, uh, two weeks? Uh, nah, not really. Mostly just typical like trout and bass. Okay. It's good to know that they're not in the water supply yet. As far as we know. As far as we know. Hmm. Alright. Sorry if this is a... These are odd questions. They are. Why are you asking them? Uh, well, we're on a job and we've, you know, we're investigating someone in particular. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just visualizing fucking Kaiko walking up to this man, taking a long rest. <laughs> just what a power move right there. I, uh... I just realized my stamina moved down. <laughs> Walks up, long rests, <laughs> doesn't elaborate. <laughs> oh, you're good. Hmm. Well, as long as you don't have any more questions, I'm gonna be off fishing. Nah, I wouldn't want to take any of your time. <laughs> I mean, she'll like kind of look to the rest of the group to be. Should like give a slight bow to the fisherman and like also walk off. Mm. He'll mother something in Dorvish. Sana hey. looks at the looks at the lake, think about taking a swim. <laughs> the, the water is very clear. Looks very refreshing. That didn't yield much. I think uh who I asked just hates this guy. Yeah, probably. It's a small town. And it seems like most of the people in town haven't really heard of this uh, elf. What is his name? Lucius or whatever? Something like that. Yeah, you're the one with the book. Oh, right. I am. <laughs> Looks at the book again. <laughs> Looks at my notes and hopes that I wrote it down. Guess you're not as wake as you think. I did. <laughs> Put yep. down the books in the loot, so we do yeah, have to... it is Lucius. I was yeah, right. Lucius. It I did. Lucious. I also wrote it down in my notes, which is good. <laughs> good job. Good job. Remembering the an important NPC's name. Good job. The dog wants to be let in again. Oh my god, I'm going insane. <laughs> let her in. Uh. Guess we can take for talk with his wife. Let's see if she knows anything. Um, where's the door? Uh, the door is on the opposite side. Ah, man, the door's open. Good morning. Good morning. Can I interest you in our daily catch? Uh, maybe later? 
Mm. All right. Kind of a role, but I think we've been talking with your husband outside. Ah, uh, you talked to Shroven? Yes. Hmm. They give you a hard time. Uh, not much more than other normal people. Hmm. I'm sorry for you if his was the typical you experience. <laughs> Nothing to worry about. Um, we basically just adventurers coming through on a mission. You know, some are death elf is running around. I guess messing with the blight and some mm -hmm. such. So we're hunting them and looking around if the blight or other creatures have get it in the, near, in the near settlements and trying to help people or and kill people, uh, kill not people, creatures that are affected by the blight. So if you've noticed mm -hmm. anything strange in the woods or the fish, or the lake, maybe. Well, when you say that, the I, I know that Jay, the guy who gets our lumber for us, he, uh, he mentioned something about a weird looking tree that he pretty much hacked up and sort of ended up burning. Yeah, it'll probably be in like the forest doing forest things. You know how lumberjacks are, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The fish are otherwise doing well. Oh yeah, the fish have been doing well feeding the city. Well, village. Same. Leave, at least. Yeah, it's a it's a humble life here in this village. Nothing wrong about that. Nothing wrong with it, indeed. <laughs> she doesn't it's believe what she's saying. I mean, he spent most of his life in one building so you know in one in <laughs> one fl flock uh you know in one place so <laughs> i think any place where you have fun is a good place <laughs> um out of character mm. buying fish why should we do that <laughs> uh, they kind of rations yeah they would count rations. as like rations and stuff oh hell yeah uh, someone else buy them, though. I rations are really heavy. I'm very weak and fragile. <laughs> A weakling. Looks at, looks at my inventory. Sees blue marlin that takes up like half of them. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm I like even, four. I'm like four really pounds. I haven't heightened this boat. I have to worry about ration rate. Man, I am seventy out of eighty for my I'm, fucking. I'm seventy five out of eighty. Health. Like four Help pounds off from my movement re I reduction. Holding. Which one is the movement reduction at? These boots have seen everything. The first one. So it, 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 yeah, anything over light is basically a reduction. I see. Is it five or ten feet reduction? Wait. Yeah. Uh, that's a good question. Uh, encumbrance. I have this page open. Da, da, da. Man, oh God, there needs to be a fucking channel in the Discord that is yeah. just all of the shit. Encumbered light. <laughs> a lightly encumbered creature is carrying is a creature carrying weight in excess to their light load. While encumbered, a creature's movement speed for all types is reduced by ten feet. Combat and conditions expanded. Article. I see. Hmm. I should get rid of this tent. <laughs> so I still have three rations, so I should be fine for the next few days at least until we reach a new settlement. Mm -hmm. How many rations do I have? Oh. Eight. Yeah, I think I'm good, guys. <laughs> yeah. We could just hunt something in the woods or get us some, um, you know, mushrooms, I guess. Yeah, I got some. Funny mushrooms. Why do I Plus, the really big fish I have in my 
inventory, I guess. I, I definitely need rations. I'm just uh, thinking... 49 why pound do... fish. Why XD. do I have a tinderbox? I have fire magic. You go In to, case to you the get silent. Skills. I guess, yeah. <laughs> why are you making fire in the silence? <laughs> well, silence. Well, you, you know, you don't know. The situation could come up. Just stab the person silencing you. <laughs> Easy. Or that tinderbox is going to do numbers. True. Pop off. <laughs> Anyways, you guys buying anything or you got any more questions or are you just going to take up space in my shop? I don't you have any, like, any like dried fish I can take, you know, you know, provisions. Yeah, she'll sort of say I can prep them for travel. How many pounds you want? And what fish? Uh, I don't know, maybe like five pounds of uh, something. I, I don't know, fish. Salmon, me, trout, tuna, shrimp. That first one. Hmm. All right. She'll grab a salmon off the rack with very dexterous knife movements. Sort of just cut it up. Sort of cube it. Grab some salt and basically heavily salt and put like preservatives with it and serve bags it up. All right, here you go. That that'll be about silver and a half. Silver, okay. Uh, do I even have that? Fucking Christ. <laughs> uh, Elrona will hand over two silver. <laughs> She'll, she'll pretty much start making change. Wicked. Here you go, five copper for your trouble. Alright, thanks. Enjoy the fish. I will. <laughs> Anybody else gonna buy a thing? I am good, I think. Thank you. Have a nice day. Other bow. Shovels out. Hmm. Take care. You too. <laughs> She'll nod. So, I guess let's finish up the houses above and then go visit the lumber check or I guess the place where you worked at. Uh, yeah, so, sure. Do we know where he works at? I think. Just a second. We probably can we see like how the trees missing over there. Yeah, you, you can sort of see like you're able to see sort of the path and then sort of like the trees and make the connection. Yeah, so we can. So do you guys want to go straight to him or go check out the other houses first? Well, lumberjack seemed like the most obvious lead for now. So I think we take that first before we potentially waste our time. Yippee! Damn, they do walk all the way over. Bro, we be walking or something. <laughs> Holy. You, you see pretty much big bearded eye-patched man chopping at a tree. You hear it before you see him. It acts slamming into wood. And he sort of like sort of turns and looks at him and says What y'all need? Need lumber? Oh, uh, no, actually we had some questions. Uh, we heard from, uh, uh, the lady up there uh, in the, in the fish shop that you were, like, dealing with a weird tree the other day. We were curious about that. Oh. Weird tree? Yeah, it was a sort of, like... Hell, sorry, like, just a tree. Has that been, like, the brown that, like, they normally are? It was sort of, like, had this sort of black thing, like, running up, and... It sort of... 
I don't know. So it seemed to be more alive than your average tree, you know? Monka. So I so I took my axe and I hit it and like kept hitting it. It was it was weird. It wasn't the hard wood. He'll sort of like kick a tree stump. It was sort of like it was squishy. Did you chop it down or is it still out? Oh yeah, I, I chopped it down. Thought, hmm, this doesn't look good. Chopped it up into small bits and set it on fire. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. Cool. Good, wonderful. I didn't know if it was like a sort of like infection on the trees, you know. Gotta keep the other yeah. trees safe, you know? You believe it was a blight related, yes. There have been instances around the area. Hmm. I, gu I guess you could call it a blight. <laughs> Little shrug. Uh, <laughs> Where was the tree, us? exactly? Yes. Ah, uh, yeah. He'll serve, like, walk up here. It was on, like, this base. Or, well, he'll, he'll serve gesture to an area right here. It was right there, sort of dug up the stump. As well, because it had the weird things. Uh, From what we know of so far, has the blight itself been magical? Like, or is it just like a purely weird thing? Basically, I'm asking, would it be, would it show up on detect magic? Um, let me Good question, yeah. double check. The yeah, and uh, if I I do not believe that the blight is classified as magical. Okay, and we we would know that. Like, we would be aware of that, just in general. Yeah. I'm mostly asking to... Okay. Yeah, this is something... You guys would be aware of, like, if it is or isn't magical. I'm confirming to make sure it is not magical. It... Okay. Reading it, it's, it reads as more natural than magical. Yeah. Although it is necrotic energy. Shrug. <laughs> It, it just determines whether or not I sit here for 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Fair. I guess. You can take a look around the area, around the woods, to see if you can find anything more. Have you noticed anything else strange? Woods related? Um. Yeah, nothing. Nothing really out of the ordinary other than that tree. I guess. Let's take a look. See if you anything? Hmm. Uh, yeah. yeah. Just we'll basically we'll checking take out. Take a look around. I mean, you got, the, you got the occasional person who runs through the woods, but, like, that's normal. People like to sort of camp around here. You know, speaking of people running through the woods, have you seen, happened to seen, like, a, an elf in the woods? Uh, a death elf, specifically. Kind of a skinny fellow. <laughs> No, boy. Last person I saw was uh, Timmy. He was out and about in the woods, but no, nah. no, like death elves, as you call them. Oh, that's what they are. Yeah, <laughs> sort of thing for my kind of a rude name. Not gonna lie. I, I didn't come up with it. That's just what they're yeah. called. That is, that is their actual name, yes. Just sort of... Kind of... Putting the... Carpet before the horse there with, like... Making them, like, kind of evil. I mean, I'm not gonna assume. I think it's just a cultural thing. It's whatever. Yeah, yeah, sure. That sounds right. I'm not gonna think about it too much. I got trees to chop. <laughs> We're gonna have a look around. Uh, we'll try not to get in your way. Mm -hmm. Well, if you do not get in my way, hopefully it's not on the axe side of me. <laughs> yes, that would be preferable. I'll log back and keep chopping at the tree he was chopping at. I guess we'll scout the area then. How big are the woods, woods or... Just what the, map, what the map is, or I'm assuming there's a little bit outside of the map too, right? Uh, yeah, pretty much. The forest is fairly big. It goes on, sort of, 
if you look at like the map, it, you guys are sort of, it's not as dense as the force you came from, from the first shrine, but rather is pretty much a more localized forest here. Uh, let's yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Guess we'll take a look then. See if we find anything smell wise. Not sure if we, how best detect do we how do we detect the blight? Seeing and smelling, I guess. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Alorana's just gonna look around as best she can. I think I think last time we identified it on by sight. Mm. Yep. The area, I think the gross uh, the grass was a little bit off color too. Depending. Hmm. <clears throat> Make me some investigation checks. Okay. Anybody I can help with that? <laughs> um. If anyone's proficient in it. So I'm not good guidance. I'm not proficient. What did I make expert in? Oh, that was Arcana. I got a big old zero there. Uh, I have one in it, but I'm not proficient in it. <laughs> Any Better geniuses in our party? Anybody? <laughs> Investigation. You think <laughs> you only a wizard? <laughs> <laughs> Making notes, writing that down. <laughs> Noting the lack of int. <laughs> int in five e. Oh, <laughs> funny this joke. Charisma only. Riz party. <laughs> so whoever has a plus one probably <laughs> is has that advantage. I and <laughs> and guidance. I have, I have one, I have one. I can't believe challenge. you're the nerd of the group. <laughs> I mean, it fits. Uh, everyone can do the investigation, right? Yeah. So yeah. Just that I'm using my one to help. Okay. Okay. So I have advantage. Mm -hmm. And guidance is... Oh, and okay. guidance? Same. That's a good number. That's 20. A, that's a good number. Would I have advantage? Oh my god. <laughs> Um, easy. Just lore thing. Uh, uh yeah, I'll give you. Stuff. Yeah, I'll give you that. Okay. Also, shout out to the zero. <laughs> this, this, hey, okay. All right. So, uh, as you guys are looking through, uh, it seems that pretty much. There isn't really any remnant of the blight within the ground. Uh, Sun, you think you see something, but it's actually just a regular plant root. It's unfortunately not any blight. It's a completely normal root, but it could have been blight. <laughs> you blast the, the root, <laughs> hitting it with one radiant damage. <laughs> 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 yeah but it seems that the blighted tree was fully and completely removed professionally by a lumberjack mm, and good. burned okay and nothing nothing else popped up in the region from my investigation uh yeah, with your investigation, you... Oh, let's see. You probably would have walked a little bit for farther into the... Yeah, I would have been, go. like, looking around. Yeah. Uh, with your investigation, you will actually find on this tree. Oh, which tree? This tree. Oh. You would pretty much like look and you would actually see a small sort of black mark on it. One ah. reminiscent of the blight. It would probably would oh. for our friend it would probably go back for our friend the Lama check. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we found one. Ah. And one of what? A uh, marked black tree. Yeah. Um. This is the spiders you said, but <laughs> He'll sort of follow you and look at it and say, Now oh, that's barely anything. He'll grab his axe and sort of like 
just swing it at the tree. What what does the mark look like? Is it like just like a spot or uh it visually it looks like as if you sort of like traced a finger down the tree. Ah. And sort of like he sort of like f- swings his axe, chopping the top part, swings underneath, cutting the like bottom part and like cuts that part out of the tree. Mm. There we go. Best we get to bring that to yeah. Appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah, do you guys have some fire for this or looks at the magic users? <laughs> <laughs> Sort of like he's holding it, like holding it out towards someone to take. We got plenty, but probably um, do just... it outside the forest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go back to the clearing. <laughs> we'll just sort of like toss it onto the ground. Immediately firebolts <laughs> it. <laughs> and then firebolts it again. You blast it with the fire. It burns. It smokes. And nothing remains. I hey, thanks for the catch. Uh, yes, but this is concerning. There might be even more in the forest. She like looked to the rest of the group. Does that mean that he might have been through here? Uh, Looks like it's... Mm. I mean, that looked intentional. Mm. Well, I mean, if I was to guess, I can't really make too many assumptions. I would assume so, too. I am unsure how the blight might spread naturally, but it seems to be in very concentrated areas, as if somebody is leaving it deliberately which this man is. Well, if I see that man leaving more of that doll, he'll, like, gesture with his axe. You know. Probably take a hand or two. Yeah, he's the... Magic user, yeah. He's the elf guy we were describing earlier. Yeah, that's who we were looking for. He seems to have pretty powerful defensive magic. Yeah, he looks like this. And, uh, minor illusion. To like hmm. make a picture of him here. We should gotcha. be careful about him because not to he doesn't mind killing people, so hmm. Alright, well if I see him all well I guess you say it was you got magic. Yeah. Oh probably magic, uh, horrid blight creatures under his direct control. Hmm. Several methods of killing you, yes. Alright, so I won't go up to him and try hit him with my axe. Probably I not for you my health. You can try, but I would highly recommend against it. Hmm. Yeah, I'll probably... I don't know. <clears throat> gather up town folk and gang up on them or something. I'll, I'll figure it out. If, maybe I'll yell loud enough and you'll hear. Who knows? He'll just shrug. You might want to get in the other transfog involved of clearing the forest for blight? Or I looking around at least? Enthusiasm. Hmm. Yeah. See if other others might help you out with finding more trees that could be affected. Yeah. But it sounds like a multi-day job and we kind of have to hunt this guy down so we can't stay for it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll get some people to help me with that. Now that I sort of know what to look out for, and knowing that it's not just the one tree. Always have some fire ready. The blight does not like it. Hmm. Radiant too, but, uh, you know, not that common. Yeah. Uh, well, see if Town Priest can help. That would be a good idea, yes. Oh. Thank you all for your help with this. Uh, would kind of suck to lose my job if all the trees turned into mush. Yeah. 
they can see it. Yeah, no problem. I think <laughs> we might have to check out the like basically tell to that I asked the others if he was here. And depending it how fast he can do something, he might just have thrown something into the lake to possibly mess with it. Oh, um I I don't know how to swim. Out of character. Uh on our sheets. Mm -hmm. Movement wise, it says climbing and swimming. Like, is that a natural speed we have, or is it just a mistake on the sheet? Uh, climbing and swimming, I mean, it's going to be half your movement speed unless you have a uh, mm -hmm. have a climbing or moving or yeah, swimming speed. It, it, it's half half speed unless you have a speed for it. Yeah, half movement isn't bad either. Uh, I will also note, like, if you're wearing, like, armor, like, heavy armor or medium armor, it will, like, heavy armor will have, like, athletic checks and stuff to pretty much swim in heavy armor. I mean, instead of, well, it's probably not going to go in heavy armor, just... Yeah, just, just making like, sure, <laughs> just making sure you guys yeah. don't jump in. Unless, so, yeah, unless you guys want to join, some of them might go for a swim to check it out. Uh... Alright. I guess uh, I think the pier might be the best place. Um, if we need to take a dip into the lake, I do know how to swim. I uh know how to not drown, at least. That's good. That's good, yes. <laughs> You guys make your way back. Uh, uh, it's of, uh, man is, yeah, still in his boat, but I'm gonna just imagine his boat's under him. I was gonna, I was yeah. gonna say, dang, he hasn't moved an inch. <laughs> Rose is, puts his stuff down here. <laughs> you run and <laughs> jump in. I, oh, oh. Oh gosh. You pretty much Sorry. make a splash and like the fisherman sort of like turns and looks and says, Oh for fuck's sake. Will only take a second or a minute. You gotta scare the Ghost fucking diving. fish away. No worries. Ah. <laughs> uh. Yes, basically it's kind of a swimming around and diving around to seeing if he sees anything. Make me a it perception probably, check. <laughs> probably be on the, on the corners, because I don't think the elf would have swam around in the middle of it. So My guess anything, would be it's around this area if there were pieces of blight on these trees over here. Possibly, yeah. <laughs> uh... Senna would have maybe asked for some guidance from Sun before he <laughs> died. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> and then goes back to looking around. Yep. Uh, perception, you said? Yep. Oh. Yeah. Alright, roll the guns. Slash R, right? Yep. Eight. <laughs> Alright. With an eight, uh, you're looking around. Uh, underwater, you see that there is flourishing, like, plant life. There is lots of... a surprising number of fish here. Uh, and as you're sort of more in the sort of upper area, you see that there's a sort of, sort of, kind of a dam, it's sort of like f filtering the water as it sort of comes in with like, through sort of like plants and like wood, there, keeping the lake from like, flooding or 
going too big if there was, say, like, a sudden flood of water. But you don't see anything blight-related. Uh, I'm going to say make, make a dexterity save very low DC as uh, Strovin pretty much takes his fishing rod and tries hooking you with it. Do we see this happening? Yes. Uh, Saving um, through or check? Uh, actually, do an acrobatics or yeah, acrobatics to see if... Ah, athletics would be better. <laughs> yeah, it's athletics if he gets you, he doesn't get you. He sort of Excuse me, could you not hook our companion here? Can you not you scare doing, away sir? the fish? We're trying um, to keep your village safe from the blight. What and are you I'm doing? trying to make a living. <laughs> we are trying to help you make a living it's by fine. keeping you alive. It's fine, it's fine. No worries, nothing happened. Mm. No. Grumbles, so grumbles. Uh, <laughs> yells yells off. at you in Dorvish. Does any of you, does anyone speak Dorvish? Nope. Nope. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> if any one of well, them could read, they'd be real mad right now. <laughs> <laughs> I will say there is a possibility that Zanvar, you've heard what he yelled at you before, even if you don't know what it means. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't oh. see anything. Doesn't mean there isn't anything, but. It will, well, uh, at least, at, th at least didn't get attacked by any blighted fish, so that's a good sign. So Presty dry you off. Uh, appreciate it. The nerve. Ah, There's well. As much else, yeah. Only a few more houses, I guess, and then we should be good to go. Maybe that's why the other guy didn't, didn't like him. <laughs> I can sense. see why. As you, uh, you knock on this door? Yep. As you knock on it, uh, pretty much. Uh, before you knocked on it, you would hear, like, the, like, noise of, like, someone talking, sort of, instructively, and will sort of stop, walk up, and open the door and say, and sort of see a, sort of, priest, priestesses, pri priestess dressed, like, individual, and just sort of look at you and say, uh, can I help you? Uh, class, class is currently in session, so please speak quickly. Uh, greetings, my name is Tanaba, and we have been sent on a mission by the Inquisition for blight related matters. Oh my, well, is there anything particular you need my assistance with? Well, we have found that at least a few trees have been uh, infected in the forest over here, over there. Hmm. Oh my. That's and not good. Yes, well, your uh, lumberjack probably might need some help in the future with setting up a group of people to look around the forest and, uh, well, removing the blight if possible. Hmm. But otherwise, uh, have you seen anything strange recently or that could be uh, dangerous animals or behaving strangely or anything otherwise blight related possibly um no not, not particularly village has been fairly quiet and normal that's good at least <laughs> well let us know if you do find something but we might not be along here but let us know if you remember something okay well th th it. thank you for letting me know she'll no she'll turn around close door and you you'll hear her yelling at like some children <laughs> like as a teacher does when two students are <laughs> bullying one another At least letting people know it's good. Hmm. 
the door is on this side. You can Loke see us on the door. path. <laughs> Knocks on the back. <laughs> Seeing that we're actually going door to door, Ladika is just going to go to a different house and knock on that one. Mm. <laughs> Alright, so we'll start with Zavar. You knock on door and they serve. Sort of Sort of elderly man answers and says, Oh, how can I help you, young man? Um, greetings. Uh, my name is Tanawa, and my companions here and me have been sent, or well, tasked by the Inquisition, Inquisition to look for uh, areas affected by the blight. And hmm. we found some trees in the woods over there, but this, that's being taken care of. Have you any noticed anything strange recently? Animal strangeness or places of, I don't know. Uh, well, bright basically manifests in a darkened area, or blackened area, with mm. and probably not a good smell in general. I don't see anything like that, really. Uh, I mean, these young whippersnappers and their new stuff always is weird to me, but like, I mean, nothing like dark and evil like what you're describing. That's good at least. Yeah, glad to hear it. Well, well, if you do find anything, let the priestess know or a cleric. Yeah, I got, uh, of course, young man. Now you That's take fine. care of yourself. Uh, you too. <laughs> <laughs> Bing bong. As you knock on the door, a sort of probably around like 18 year old guy sort of opens the door and says, eh, Yeah, can I help you? Ah, uh, yes. Um, my friends and I, we were mm -hmm. in town investigating a possible inf infection of uh, something called the blight. And we were wondering if you found anything out of the ordinary or vicious, perhaps. Any sign of any death elves around? No, nah, town's been pretty normal. No death elves unless sort of looks around. None of you guys look like a death elf, so I haven't seen one of them. Yeah. Thinking of anything else that she could ask. <laughs> Hope you find your death elf friend, I guess. Uh, I can uh, assure you it's not he's not a friend, but thank yeah. you. Do be on the lookout. Uh, good luck finding your death elf boyfriend. <laughs> sure. He wants to kill us. Hey, I, I ain't one to judge. <laughs> thank you for your time, sir. <laughs> Have a good day. <laughs> He, he, as he closes the doors, he will laugh. He knows. <laughs> he, he's fucking with you. God. Zanavar, do we really Kanaka have to go around? is definitely around? laughing, man. <laughs> do we have to Please. go around to every building? I don't think anyone's seen anything. I mean, it's the last house, so I'm fine if this, this one being the last. We can then go on if you want to. Mm -hmm. Do we still have the map? Yeah. Why don't yes. we just head towards the next shrine on the map? <laughs> <laughs> well, That's if we had... Yeah, if we had done that, you know... We, hadn't, we wouldn't have found the blight in the forest, so... That that is why true. We... That's true. So that's the re... At least we're making sure we aren't leaving anything behind that could affect them too badly. Let's hope. So I think it's fine, hopefully. Yeah, if we don't find any new information, you should probably just head to the next train. Yeah, that's I'll where leave. he's probably gone. Another five minutes. Yep. Sure. Last house. You yeah. knock on the final door, and it appears to not be occupied at the moment. Mm, but Free house. <laughs> <laughs> Free house. Uh... Well, that's it. Guys ready? Daylight's burning. We ought to get a move on.
Well, zoom. <laughs> Uh, yeah. So which way is it to the shrine, precisely? Northwards. Mm-hmm. Did it wait? This way. Keep heading off. Underneath. Yep. Uh, and where... Where exactly would the path be? Uh, pretty much from the path out of town, it would have been like you guys sort of came up and it sort of is an off path, and there's like a path that goes off that way, which would be connected. Probably like okay. curves around the town. Yeah. All right. And I guess we'll start heading over to the to the path. The path of hell. The path. Heaven or hell. <laughs> round one. Slash me. Round start potemp combustor. Wait! 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 No! 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 <laughs> Go Rappler moment. Alright. With the party gathered, let me select you. You guys travel up the path. It is a pretty much the forest seems to dwindle less trees and more rocks as you make your way up the mountain. The air starts to get a bit thinner as your elevation gets quite high up and you arrive at the entrance of the third shrine maybe two or three hours before sundown. Perfect. Whoops, wrong buttons. Let's see how the map loads without preloading. It'll be one really big ass hit at the end. Oh, yeah. This one looks fancy. And, uh, ominous. Fenced. Oh. I feel like shrines <laughs> do <laughs> have that. <laughs> also, something I want to point out is this carpet. I don't know how, but it got fucked up at some point. I didn't notice. It's supposed to look like that, but then I just, it got rotated. It looks perfectly fine to me. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, just something. Something about of the man. this guy is just. just <laughs> oh, I don't know. We're obviously meant to loot. loot the yeah, all I see is the the money on him. Sheesh. Sheesh. But yeah, as they get closer, her son would obviously be using her um, green sense to look at. Through the post system stuff to see if she saw any signs of light. Is there like an ominous mm -hmm. vibe to this shrine too? Like, can I do a vibe check on this? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> roll, roll the vibe check. <laughs> I guess insight? Yeah. You do got lots of stained glass windows, it looks like. Uh, with an 11 on vibes. insight? Uh, honestly, out of all the shrines, this one probably has the best vibes. Oh. Right on. Wicked. Son, you also, get very similar it, vibes. <laughs> is this a cliff? Yes, it is. Ooh. It, it sort of is a sort of... This? Um, you guys are about... I would say probably around 300 to 400 feet up. Yeah. It's a really tall cliff and it's got this like... Uh, it's just a shrine on on like an overlooking cliff. Sick. <laughs> that looks cool. That's, that's kind of cool. <laughs> is it like cold up here? Uh, yep. Air temperature is the air is a bit thinner than you're used to. Not so thin that you would need to like actually spend time accumulating, acclimating, acclimating. There's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> Rana would have probably put a cloak on, uh, mm. through, because it's getting chilly. Yeah. The diggage is cold, bruh. I mean, mm. Kanaka came from a mountain. Hi. Noko just goes and looks over the edge, and just like, oh. Hope you're not scared of heights. <laughs> I pushed Noko off! 
Mur murder, suicide, stun, jump, stop. Um, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> we all jump off the cliff. Man, I can't believe that's how my over. campaign ended. We just all decided that's to my story ends. Ends. <laughs> So that's how my story ends. My party and I decided to jump off a cliff. <laughs> Why? No reason. Yeah. I don't get level take until next level. They got promised we get, we get uh, some sort of empowerment, but the empowerment was just actually a new character that we have to make. <laughs> yeah, so my story, my uh, story ended because the party decided to all kill themselves at the same time. <laughs> why? Why did yours end? <laughs> <laughs> I can't, can't believe this is the first TPK. If you're, if all your friends jumped off a cliff, would you? Well, yeah. Yeah, yeah, for, the the bit, bro, for the bit. <laughs> <laughs> I always yeah, will exactly. say the bit. You guys could become the first TPK if you just. <laughs> It would be it would be pretty funny. <laughs> Slash like, be writing in character graveyards. <laughs> like these people are dead. They jumped off a cliff. It'd be funny. <laughs> quote me. <laughs> that's that's kind of a hard quote to put on your gravestone though. It would be funny. <laughs> uh Right, let's walk through these doors before we get tempted, before the call of the void gets to us. As you enter, you see a mostly empty shrine. However, you do see an individual there. He sees you enter as he's sort of like walking around looking through some books. I fucking keep trying to unsnap people from grid and end up. All right. Making them invisible. Oh, he'll, he'll sort of walk forward and say, Oh, greetings, greetings. Greetings, sir. What brings you to my shrine? Thank you, and Persistence brought us here to check out the shrines. Fears of light have been spread in and around and we encountered mm. quite a bit on their way. Ah, oh, well. Uh, the first two shrines have been attacked. The first one killed most people. The second one survived. Now the third one, well, we hope we can prevent anything happening. Well, I mean, you can sort of look, he'll sort of gesture to some of the uh, sarcophaguses that are, have their sort of tops broken open. We've uh, had our an instant not too long ago, while the shrine was unoccupied, some of the sarcophaguses were broken into, but uh, we examined their contents and didn't seem like anything was stolen or taken. Everything was still there. It's, it was strange and not sure why. Are people allowed that, that to... was the case for all of them? I mean, the ones that are broken, he'll sort of gesture to the three sarcophaguses that have cracks and broken lids. How mm. easy is it to open one without breaking it? I would... You just have to be gentle with it, and it shouldn't break. It's fairly solid. Mm. Sure. You might have to check all of them, just to be sure. Like, mm. the broken ones c could be a bait, so to say. He broke them, and, well, basically we're looking for a dead elf that seems responsible for this, spreading the blight and generally making a nuisance of himself. Hmm. I see. He seems well, we pissed said... about, he seems pissed about the war, how it went. Oh, uh, sorry, what did you say, son? Well, we said at least check the ones that are already broken, so we don't have to open up any of the ones that are properly resting. Mm. Maybe we'll find something on one of the broken ones. Yeah, so uh, if, if you would like me to check the broken ones, I would prefer it remains in my hands as I am the priest of the shrine. And I would much rather you not disturb the dead. We will at least take a look at if some but it seems to have tampered with them, with them, then without opening them. Mm. 
Have you inspected to see if there's any magical tampering on the bodies? Um, so necromancy, you mean? Well, any kind of magical tampering. It doesn't matter which. Oh, I mean, I have examined them to the best of my ability, and they seem to be remaining as the dead. Uh, I can use a spell to detect any, if there's any, if with your permission, I wouldn't want to. Hmm. We'll think for a moment. Very well, you you may. So long as you do not disturb or open the sarcophaguses, you shall be fine to do so. And afterwards, I can probably fix up some of the sarcophaguses that got broken. Hmm. That uh, would be appreciated. Arana would, at this point, take her time to take out all the ritual shit. Mm. Start doing detect magic while everyone uh, starts investigating. Hmm. Um, son, can I have your assistance in checking the, uh, well, sacrifice, well, what's the first name for sarcophagi? For multiple ones? Sarcophagi, Sarco yes. Sarcophagi. Uh, can sure. I have your assistance in checking if anybody had tried to open them, like tool marks and scratches? Yeah, I'll help. Thank you. So, so about for probably with Sun, work around all the sarcophagi and check for marks if somebody's opened them, chips, you know, broken, like, you know, mm. dust has been unsettled, that kind of thing. Yeah, make me investigation. Yep. These would be investigation. The priest will sort of continue talking, being like, yes, the... You said something about shrines being attacked and unable to contact, like, losing contact with them, you said? Yes. Mm. Is there some sort of magic relay going on or magic sending? Like, why would all the, all the messages or contact get sporadic? Well, he'll sort of gesture to the sarcophagi. Typically, we'll have a transport come around and sort of bring us the goods we'll like bring us goods that we'll need and take some of the bodies to softer ground so that they can be properly buried because yeah the ground is stone so cannot be buried well Uh, with a 10 on your investigation, I... have proficiency in minus tools, so if that helps. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll, 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 I'll give it to you. So, adding in your proficiency for a total of 12, uh, as you sort of look at the sarcophagi, most of them are... There's not very much dust on them. All of them seem to have recently been like clean. shifted around well they're well maintained they're cleaned uh you don't find any scratches of like tools however you do see scratches as the sort of lids are put on scratching along it's scratches that should be there rather than finding any scratches that shouldn't be okay thank you Looks like it'd be good, son. Hmm. Well, it would explain why our caravan hasn't arrived. Is this blight that you are mentioning? Attacking the shrines? Hmm. Where would this That's... caravan normally come from? And normally they sort of make their way up the road that I'm sure you took your way, carrying carts to bring the dead to their final resting place lower on the mountain but I've had to watch over these bodies for around a couple weeks now well some a bridge has been destroyed 
farther down before the first run. Mm. That is not good. It likely would be an issue. Potentially, yeah. Mm. Damn. But it at least looks like no other sarcophagi have been tampered with, at least. Other than the obvious ones. Yes, it's strange that nothing was taken from them. Normally, when you have grave robbers, they'll take all the gold, the silver, maybe desecrate the bodies, but it's all would left been, there. Could have been something added to it. The bodies haven't been tampered with in any way? Nothing that I can see visually. They'll sort of, like, go over to this book and show it. Yeah, uh, sort of the ledges of what each body is buried with. I checked and double checked and all of them seem to add up. Is there anything we notice strange about it? Like blight related or something? Um, Surely if there was blight on these things. If there was something added that wasn't there before. Yeah, pretty much. I, I am using like a sort of skeleton, but it is not a skeleton as a wrapped like body, like preserved, wrapped, how you would sort of do that process. Bombing? I think that's the term. Yeah, that sounds right. Yeah. So they are properly embalmed. They're not fully decayed into skeletons. I'm just using that because... I don't like the visual of wrapped bodies. It disturbs me. <laughs> but uh, we're... Go ahead. But as you look, there's no signs of any blight or any other sort of sort of corruption on them. Do we need to remove the Well, the lining to get a better look? Or are we sure that the blight would leave markings on the Lining too, or the wrappings. Um, um, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, answering that sort of out character is pretty much. You would reasonably sh be sure that like you th the bodies are well wrapped enough that if something were to like infect them, it would have to sort of either go through the wrappings or have the wrappings removed, which they have not been. So, that's good. So what, this guy just came in, decided to desecrate the tops of some sarcophagi and then leave? I don't know why he showed up. <laughs> well, maybe it wasn't this one, but they might have been looking for something. Like, mm. is there some special about the bodies that have been well the cover guy that have been desecrated is there anything in common I, I checked and there's absolutely nothing we have he'll sort of gesture to this one we have a human male human female dragonborn male no all of them were unrelated to each other each in sort of different classes no real similarities at all. Two of them were from the same town, but that's just a coincidence. Is there anything else we notice about the bodies while in the city? Or is it just as he says, we can't find a thing? I uh, uh, make a uh, perception check for the bodies. Yep. Nice rolls on this one. One 
second. All right, with those perception checks, uh, pretty much looking at the bodies, each of them is as sort of described with the first one. They're all well wrapped with all the stuff that are written in the ledgers. Nothing seems like logically, if someone were to do this, something would have changed with them, but for whatever reason, the sarcophagi were broken open and nothing happened with them. Is there um, a... Oh. oh, go ahead. This is going to sound odd, sir, but did you notice anything odd on yourself recently? Any strange marks or blemishes, perhaps? He'll, he'll sort of look at you with sort of a face that for a moment might have taken offense with what you said, but sort uh, of not, not in any kind of himself. strange way, but you know, I, I understand. Uh, I, I understand the abundance of caution. I am perfectly untouched by any blight, any negativity. Do I think you're telling the truth? Roll an inside check. Watch this fellas. I'm watching. All right. Well. Well. Look at that 16, Sarah there. Look at you. Been a insightful little one. I'll be inciting him. <laughs> All right. With your insight, he... There's hesitance to his words. There's something he's hiding from you. Mm. <laughs> I knew it. Fellas, crush this guy's skull. <laughs> there's, there's also something we found that this person has was able to infiltrate uh, the hidden sanctuary of the first right? Hmm. Mazes and basically a place where the offerings have been teleported. He was hiding down there. So, is there any place a person could hide in this temple? A secret one, or an addict, or a placement? Uh, he'll sort of look at you and say, No, there's really no hiding here. We're on a cliffside, and if we were to say, like, try having a basement, it would lead you 300 feet down. Uh, as the detect magic comes up, uh, pretty much you, let's see, how far is it? 30 feet, you said? Or it is, right? 30 feet? Uh, I'm not totally exact. Yeah, right. 30 feet. Uh, you get a sort of ping from the sarcophagus. The magic seems to be uh, transmutation. Uh, so, none of the broken sarcophagi. Uh, none of them ping. ping. At all. None of them ping. Uh, all right. Like, oh, Arana's like obviously like she'll stand up and start like wandering, like look at mm -hmm. the the broken one first. She hasn't like clearly indicated that that. That's the only ping. She's just double checking. And then she'll start like heading over this way. <laughs> You're like, uh, curiosity question. What's in this sarcophagus out of curiosity? He'll, he'll serve, uh, pick up the black notebook and sort of flip it and say, all right. Uh, within there is a body of a male kobold, uh, died at age 35. Uh, buried with 15 gold pieces, 18 silver, 5 copper, and uh, their bow. 
nothing else noted. Uh, is their bow magical? Um, it was listed as non-magical. Well, that's uh, concerning. I'm getting transmu uh, transmutation from this. Something's wrong. Nothing else seems to be pinged. Well, I will investigate this. If you do not mind. Uh, he'll sort of look towards uh, Zavar. Yeah, I can help out with it. Alright, make the roll as well. Nope. <laughs> right. I'm okay. assuming uh, athletics. <laughs> yeah, he'll, he'll sort of like go on to one side and have you on the other and say, yeah, if you would not mind helping me lift this off, I am fairly old. We shall, no we shall place it on top of this one. <laughs> All right. Wait, should have, uh, yeah, depends. Does he yeah. help me or help me? He, he, or does everyone roll? Yeah, he is also <laughs> lifting from his side and pretty much with that roll, it's quite heavy, but you both are able to pretty much yeah. pick it up and slide it onto this one. The expertise in athletics doesn't help a lot if you're rolling low. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, yeah, do I know that. Session, your rolls is such a bit unfortunate. Uh, and it, as it opens, you see a small body wrapped buried with gold, silver, copper, and a bow. Now that the lid is removed, you can see that it is the bow that is pinging. Oh. Correction is not the bow that is pinging. It is something <laughs> underneath the body. Oh. Uh, I would... Something beneath the body is pinging. Uh... I would... I would mention for the priest to step back if possible. He'll raise an eyebrow and... Be careful, be careful. Mm. I, I assume that it's not normal for something like this to be underneath the body. No, it is not. He will pretty much lift it and sort of pull... He'll, like, grab a sort of arrow. The arrow's sort of wooden uh, shaft is sort of... It, the wood has sort of dark black, like, lines running down it. Reminiscent of Blight. Also, Rip DC. I'm alive. Seems like Blight, yeah. DC is no longer dead, huzzah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why that happened. This mm. is most unusual. He'll sort right. of hand the arrow to either Zavar or Arana. No, Onorana will take it, <laughs> since she was the one with Detect Magic. This <laughs> arrow has Transmutation Magic as a part of it. Yeah, oh. it's definitely this. And, well, from the looks of things, I think this is some kind of blight. It's so similar to what we've seen before. Hmm. Well, I must thank you. I, I would not have discovered this if it weren't for you. Do you wish yeah. to destroy it? Uh, yeah, does it do would... anything specific? Like, is it meant to do something? Can we infer anything about it? I'll make our arcana check. Hmm. I, can... I, will... I will do the same. I would assist, I guess, but I don't really have, you know, uh, arcana proficiency. Uh, yo, so let's go, Lizzie. That's, that's a 13. <laughs> I have prof in arcana. Mm -hmm. Oh, I will also look at it. Um, <laughs> with my expertise. So Look at this I nerd. Oh. <laughs> My face when you have expertise and you roll lower than someone else. Listen, man. He's a roll star. I've been rolling alright. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, and uh, with a 12 and 13, uh, you both are sort of able to understand the mechanism of how this arrow would work. It would get shot by a bow and pretty much wherever it landed would sort of grow into the ground to spread blight. 
and right. and this <coughs> this sarcophagus was unsealed. Uh, no, it was sealed. Uh, or, yeah, it, it was, or it was it was sealed rather. It this sarcophagus yeah. was yeah. sealed rather. I mean, there isn't like an airtight seal on these. It is a heavy lid, very flat on a bottom thing, but it appeared to have been sealed. This is peculiar. Was it meant to be wielded as a weapon by the body if it reanimated or something? Doesn't make sense Maybe. to put it. I'm looking There's at no necromancy here. I'm looking at the priest, like, or, like, eyeing the priest to judge his reaction to us finding this. Um, he sort of, like, check. yeah, he sort of, yeah, I, Zanvar, you can roll an insight check. We're still going to be using the old insight checks from. I'm also inciting. I'm, I'm, I'm giga sussy of this guy. Okay. I, I am carrying over your old one, which you rolled the exact same for. Uh, pretty much. You see him looking at the arrow, and you can sort of get the vibe that he's wondering why that, or no, that's not right. You're, he's, you're getting the vibe of him, like, being concerned about it being, like, you guys having this arrow, it being found, and, like, he, he sort of, like, says... The blight is uh, destroyed by radiance, correct? That would be true. Oh. That is true. That's why I, I, was, I was planning on doing with it. Uh, Fire well, also it. seems to work. Well, he'll sort of like prepare to like cast a spell. I could destroy that if you wish. Uh, uh, we should go outside for it. I was going to go ahead and destroy it. I got, I got this. He he'll oh. sort of. He'll sort of gesture towards Sun. Very well, you... I trust you to do so. Uh, Elrana will set it on the... Like... She won't... She'll, she'll like, carefully, mm. very, very carefully, like, put it down on the floor. In front <laughs> of it, and then, like, take, like, a step back. So so I'm, I think we should take it outside. I'm a bit confused at his reaction to our inside check. So is he... Was he concerned as to why there was a blight arrow in the sarcophagus, or more was he concerned that we are being so thorough in our investigation and we found this? It was concerned. The concern was directed at the blight arrow. Pretty much. Com it was a combination of its existence and you guys seeing it. It mm. the, pretty much. To answer your question, the answer is yes. Yes to so, both. That's then. basically pointing at the ground here in the open area because he doesn't want to cast it, her spell let, by, by the sarcophagus. Yes, Rana will put it, let, just put it down in the middle of the room very carefully, making sure to not fucking make it explode. And then we'll step back. So, um. Where's my button? Can I, like. Examine him, his appearance closer, just to sort of like, is he hiding something or like, is he hiding behind an illusion? Uh, is he, is, is this how he's supposed to look or is he disguised? You have advantage against illusions, correct? Yes. Make a, uh, investigation check with advantage. Okay. With a 14 investigation check, you sort of squint at him, knowing what an illusion looks like and how to see through them. You look thoroughly. This man is not currently wearing an illusion. Okay. He'll sort of like look towards you and sort of say, there is one thing of note. He'll sort of flip to the page that lists the kobold. The location where this body was found is not too far from here. It's a cave that was abandoned recently for mining. He'll sort of... Actually, 
I believe one of these individuals came in with the arrow is vaporized with the radiant damage. He'll sort of go to a shelf, sort of looking through like papers. No, that's not it. Uh, ah, here it is. He'll sort of like pull out a piece of paper. This is the sort of map of the sort of cave. It was uh, on the body of one of the individuals here. He'll sort of check the book specifically. Uh, yeah, the dwarven male that's in that in that sarcophagus. Uh, they were apparently killed at the mine, as it was abandoned for unknown reasons. Uh, the kobold was also there, so. Uh, how long ago was this? Um, both bodies are fairly recent, within the past five days. Oh. Mm. Well then, I think we have uh, a next stop. Uh, I'm gonna check around, uh, see if any more pings come up, but unless anything does, I think we have somewhere to go. Well, how far away is it for map purposes? Um, it is uh, about maybe like an hour away uh, towards the Never Eat Soggy Watermelon West. Okay. Also, I find it very funny that in my head it still never eats soggy watermelon. Well, all watermelon is soggy by its nature. <laughs> it's I've I've always learned that as never eat soggy wheat bix. Mm. I did never eat soggy waffles. Yeah, Why I can't we all agree on this. I think I'm comboing never eat sour watermelon with never eat soggy waffles. I'm getting never eat soggy watermelon. Yeah. Uh, as as you walk through, you do not detect any more magical pings. Okay. We're on a water return. I think that's the only one. All right. And um, while you're there. If you do travel to the mine, there is sort of something that was there. It was written as a note on one of the uh, miners. They said that there was some sort of brightly colored ore there. They didn't detail what it was, but said that in one of the deepest parts of the caves, they found some sort of ore. Uh, they mentioned it was magical, so... If you are able to find that, I would like, I, if you would not mind, I would be curious to mm. see this and see if it might be related to that death cell. I've got the same experience with mining. Mm. Say again, DC? Or... Mm. That won't me. Oh, that won't you? Uh, CJ. Ah. Did they say <laughs> what color it, the ore was? Um, he'll sort of think back a moment to when he read it. Um, I think they mentioned that it was sort of, it was sort of an off, it was, uh, what is the word that I'm looking for? Pearlescent, I think. So, so not orange. Or it's like shimmering? And pearlescent, iridescent. Yeah, I, like I think pearlescent is the word I'm looking for. It's it's sort of like depending on how the light hits it. It could be green, it could be blue. That's our color. Um, that might actually be closer to iridescent. Um, okay, then assume I said that word. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Auto correct it in your head. Easy. Does it? Also, I have no idea. I'm just lying to you. Ah, spreading misinformation on the internet, as I see. On purpose. Misinformation mm -hmm. spread it successfully. Very nice. Well, before we, well, before we go to the mine, is there anything else of note you forgot to tell us or want to mention before we head off? He'll think for a moment and sort of shake his head. No. Inside check. <laughs> 
because why not? All right. He's lying. He's lying. Uh, with a twenty-one insight, um, <laughs> pretty much, you asked him if there was anything he forgot to tell you, or if there was anything he wanted to tell you. The answer to both of those questions is no. Does he know more that he is letting on? He does. I give the dark the dark, uh, not just the sub one. <laughs> um. Well. Uh, well, it's gonna I be think night. we should head off before we before it gets too dark. Well, it's three. How far away is the mine? How many hours? The mine is about twenty minutes away. Ah, uh, that's not too far then. No. If the others are headed out, uh, if Xanabar Xanabar passes by, I'll like gently tug on his uh on his sleeve and like motion for him to stay. I'll, like meet the others outside. I'll, like, speak to the priest. I, I'm coming at him not, you know, not to interrogate him, but, like, with genuine concern if this man is actually, like, hiding something that might be harmful to his health. Uh, she'll say, When I asked you earlier if there might be something on you, I know you said no, but you seem shaken. Please, if there's anything else that you can tell us, we need to know. The blight is not to be toyed with. Adorius. Something happened here, and I don't want to accuse you, but I think you know more than you've let on. <laughs> He'll sort of, like, raise one of his sleeves, and you'll sort of see that uh, there is a pretty much from his wrist up to about his shoulder, a pr sort of like crimsonly burnt arm. This is more or less what I didn't care to share. I'll put the sleeve back down. Is your curiosity sated? So he was infected with the blight, but he burned it off himself. If I'm understanding this right, yes? Or is it something else? Uh, pretty much from what you see is you just see that his arm is basically burnt. Was this from an infection? He'll nod. And the deacon nods back. I yes. need to know. I was, uh, I was afraid, but it seems like you've taken care of it. Good. <clears throat> Sorry for prying, but we really did need to know. Yes, yes. The last yes. thing we want to happen is, you know, for you to turn. But yes, we'll go and deal with this problem at the mines. Hmm. Yes. Take care of yourself until then, because we don't know this death, death elf running around. Yes. Possibly lurking. If I see a death elf, I will not engage. I will watch them. Perceive well. And hopefully, stay safe. They'll sort of, like, wave you off. Go on. <laughs> right, the win that's... The windows aren't yeah. out of character. Windows aren't really barred, right? It's just big... Yeah. Uh, yeah, they're uh, stained glass windows. There isn't, like, the bar on it. It's just the texture that the map making software had. Yes. <laughs> so even if he wanted to bar the door... I said it wouldn't help because the windows are just basically giant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, invitations to smash them and go in, yeah. Well, see you soon. <laughs> just nod at the priest and join the gang. Gang gang. Gang gang. <laughs> Alright. Uh, West, he said, right? Indeed. I think we came up from... Let's go! And... Uh, yeah. 
I am going to need to steal one of you away for a moment. Oh, oh no. No! Smiley. Said no Yoinks. <laughs> hey, hey, where are you taking Come it? We, with need me. we will be back. Enough. Smiley phase. Hello? Oh, it would help if I unmuted my mic. Indeed. You make your way to the dead tree. There are moments where your allies are standing within earshot and you don't hear a voice. No one speaks to you. Up until they're all inside and you hear the familiar voice of Lucius in Sylvan say, Glad to see you could make it. Well, this is... Yes, well, <laughs> this is certainly a interesting meeting spot. <laughs> In, indeed, I will sort of gesture the ground and say, I sort of uh, did my own handiwork here to make this tree stand out. Glad they didn't think about looking at it too closely. Mm. I would prefer to keep this short so it's not suspicious while you're gone. Yes. Do you have any questions for me before we begin? Not at the moment. Nothing yet, but... Hmm. Okay, then I have a question for you. Have you ever lost someone you cared about? Mm, that's a difficult question to answer. Hmm. I see. Yeah, yes and no. Hmm. It's I, complicated. I see. I won't pry too much, but... If you had the chance to learn of a way to bring them back, to let them live again, would you take it? Would you well, just yes. let them die? I, I... We would do what we... What, ne what is needed to hmm. come then back. I suppose you can see where I'm coming from. This blight, everybody fears it, everybody thinks it's the end for them. But it is not. It's the next stage of sort of evolution of life. It is the combination of death and life together as one. And I think if we can harness it, we can do something incredible. And you think the world is ready for it? <laughs> Given your party's reaction to me last time, I don't think that the world is ready. But I... I hope that I can guide them in this to show them the truth to show them that blight is not to be feared but to be used same way that um jalapenos they're spicy they're created the heat to ward off predators to not be consumed but people eat it anyways people thrive off of that heat that they provide the blight people interact with it it corrupts them it hurts them and much in the same way that spice hurts the mouth as you consume it blight hurts the body as you interact with it but if you were able to have a tolerance for it to maintain yourself during it you could do incredible things he'll sort of like show you one of his arms one of his arms is pretty much fully blight this i lost my arm one of my early experiments with the blight, I unfortunately had a mistake. It crawled up my arm and reacting poorly, I cut off my arm. I was, had one arm for the longest time until I was able to harness the blight. You see pretty much where the blight meets his skin, there's sort of a sort of runic circle of like silver engravings onto his arm. Hmm. 
this. With this study, I have two hands again. I can clap. I can do other things I require two hands. I hold things, I suppose. So the inscription restrains it or con lets you control it? It's complicated. It's it, it does both. Pretty much the blight wants to take over its host. It wants to own every part of the body. But if you give it a mangled body, it first works to repair the body before taking it over. The blight want, has a survival instinct. It wants the body it's within to live. So if there's damage, it will repair it. So this rune is pretty much destroying my body while restoring it so that the blight is sort of held in a stalemate. It's... Okay. Hmm, that's... This is immortality. If you could do this to an entire body, the body could not die. That seems... Difficult. More difficult than any other magic that I have done, but so, so much more rewarding. Mm -hmm. I... Do you... He'll sort of reach into his pocket. Yeah. He'll pull out sort of, like, diagrams he has. If you... If you would permit me, I could show you how this works. You could... You could tell more people about this. You could... What, what you need is you need sort of the silver you need to enchant it and then you need to inscribe runes you'll serve do you do magic yes yes okay he'll start like of like pulling like papers out of his pocket unfolding them um he'll serve like hand you a couple of them these are some of the notes i have on this um, I'm trying to think, but the words aren't coming to me. Yeah, regardless, you are, you seem like someone who can see the future without fearing the present. Mm. She, she hesitates before taking it. Would this... Would this have the option... Would this have the ability to create a body anew? Um, and then, as she's saying that, her ears just sort of go down. Uh, like, very much as if someone's shouting very loudly in her ear. I was just like, wins pain... Um, create a body anew, perhaps, perhaps, if you were able to take, like, a template and then have the Blight build the body off of it, you could. Mm. I, I haven't gone down that line of thinking more, so repairing a body that already existed, creating a new body, that, that could be interesting work. If, yeah, he'll sort of... Uh, also, gi he'll give you a piece of uh, paper. Specifically, this is written in Sylvan. Here, take this. Do not show anyone else this. If you wish to contact me again, come to this place and say what is on this paper. Do so, and they will direct you towards me. But... This is something you cannot share with the others. Mechanically, this allows you to pretty much, uh, outside of session, uh, find Lucius and speak with him in one of his hideouts. Oh boy. Uh, he is also, this uh, location also will mechanically act as a library if you wish to use it as such. 
Oh, boy. Uh, if, oh. If, if you use this, uh, ping me, let me know. Mm-hmm. Oh, boy. <laughs> this is, uh... This is gonna be interesting. <laughs> <laughs> well, I shouldn't take you too long. Uh, think of questions if you have any. If, if I need to contact you again, you know I can. Get back to your group before suspicion arises. Right. And yeah, she'll take the notes that he was offering. Um, she just leave, this leaves one last uh, thing. I'll look over this. I'll have to confer with... Is it fine if I confer with my brother on this, though? Hmm. Well, your brother was the one who said that you should speak with me, right? Yes. He seems smart. Definitely. You can speak with him about it. Alright. We'll have to go over this just to be sure, but... This... Seems... Interesting. Uh, farewell, and take care. And with that, he will sort of... This entire time, uh, he started off invisible showed himself to show the arm, and then re-invisibled himself. Mm -hmm. And you hear him head off into the forest as we return to the group. Okay. Nope. Nope. Uh, I'll just... Yeah, I'll if you... Text you can... Right yeah. Alright. And with that, I'm gonna say... Let's take like a five minute break to basically stretch, hydrate. We are at hour two of the Z campaign. Takes a 10 minute break instead. <laughs> Slash me kills your character, throws your character off the cliff. Ah! <laughs> I hope you prepared Featherfall. Uh -huh. <sighs> Featherfall's for wuss.
And we're back. <laughs> All right. So you guys are making your way to the cave. Yeah. Oh boy. Cave yeah. time. Cave time. Yeah, boy. As you are given a map, you are able to basically see the entire cave without uh, needing uh, to basically explore it. Wait, we got a map? Yeah, one of the uh, body, the individuals who is at the shrine dead, uh, was one of the miners for the cave. So they had pretty much the information of what the cave looked like. Uh, I will say this, this is an active zone. Your movements are your movements. And if you walk into something, smiley face. Whoa. Yeah. What do you mean by that? I'm, a, I'm just saying that the map is active. Be wary and. Is it dark in here? It is indeed dark. I cast light on a pebble dog. Man, I cast it on a torch. Man, I cast light on you. <laughs> Damn. Cast light on your light. pupil. You Yo. know what? This this is probably a good time to use the one spell scroll I have. Because But what if you need not? it later? I mean it's 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 literally continual flame. So <laughs> like know. Mm. Right. I put it on something and uh it's Forever, forever light. Nice. Uh, can I just use it on my spell focus? Uh, yeah, what is your spell focus? Uh, I don't know. Crystal ball, staff. Uh, I what you use. <laughs> I mean, like, I I always had the image of just, uh, like, it's like a flame, but I don't know. Okay. You could do, like, a flame in a crystal. <laughs> you, you set the flame on fire. <laughs> what the How? Fuck? Could I just have it, like, a, as a ring that has continual flame, like, spouting out of it? Yeah, that can definitely work. Yeah. It's like on my character art, it mm -hmm. has one of them just holding fire. And I was just like, yeah, that could be a ring that has fire shooting out of it. Creates no heat and does not use oxygen. Good. It won't burn you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Me double checking that. All right. Cast continue flame on your ring and you have fire in the palm of your hand. Excellent. Now to just add a note. Hmm. Okay. Ron is looking over here. What's over here? Uh, as you look, you see sort of a very hastily emptied room uh there are a few tables with some mining supplies on them not enough for a full complete set but uh there has been some stuff left behind it seems when they cleared this area they were in a bit of a rush to do so uh so would that be like a left of a pickaxe or something mm -hmm. there are a couple hey didn't that guy said he wanted like a some metal or something I wasn't really listening to that part, I'll be honest. Yes, I've got minus tools, so it shouldn't be unless these have hack for it. But I should have some tools on me. On a shrug. I guess we can take a look around in case if we find anything. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming ah. the tools are in these boxes. Yes. 
unless I find some anything higher quality device than normal, I probably am fine. Yep, it would be Just of general. basic quality. Yeah. So, I think we're good. For this room at least. Alright. Noko's just peering down the, the turns in the corridor. Yep. Uh, you see sort of here a sort of crudely mined out area that eventually sort of just stops not too deeply. Let me know if there's anything to... Oh, that's nice. Well, perception check-wise from, I guess, materials in the walls. Alright, make the perception check. Uh, well, a general like. one. That's basically I keep my eyes open if in case ah, there okay. is anything. Yeah. Mm. So I'll probably be looking around anyway. So <laughs> makes sense. Mm -hmm. Just let me know. As you arrive here, you see mine carts that have been sort of placed back in the sort of area that appears to be used for storage. And it also appears that uh, there is some lingering material in some of the mine carts. Uh, what would that be? <laughs> There is pretty much, you see, I'm going to roll. Dimension. <laughs> nope. There is uh, nine pounds of silver ore here. Silver. Oh. Shiny. Um, let me... Shiny? Wait, weren't the weren't the charm rings from the first shrine made of silver? They were. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I can take a few, but they only have only place for four. Makes me. How about you guys? Uh, no. I'm not. I'm not a pack mule. I'm afraid. Well. What about Noko just sort of grabs the, the cart and just sort of moves it back and forth to see if it slides. Or if it, it does roll. Along the track. We could just put it in one of these for now and then roll it back to the start. Or the entrance. Yes. I'm sure. I mean, we can. That's what it's made for. The rail doesn't, the... like, uh, the rail itself doesn't seem broken at all at any point, does it? Uh, not to your vision so far. Okay. I guess we'll get the silver in this one and take it up to here. All right. Just put... Yeah, we can grab it on our way out. Mm -hmm. Right there. Uh, at this point, I will say, uh, Zavar, make a perception check. As you said, you were keeping your eyes out. Yep. Sounds also keeping her eyes out. <laughs> All right. Uh, good news is I'll use a passive perception for this. Uh, as you sort of are looking out, uh, you don't really say anything of note. What you get the sense that there's something, but it sort of could just be like crust in your eyes. I feel like I'm missing something. I turn to the, uh, turn to the others and say that. Keep your eyes open. I'm keeping my eyes peeled. I'm looking behind me too. And, and up. Uh, 
pause as you are right there. Skirt. Need people to snap to grid. As you oh sort of, as you take a step there, you sort of feel your foot sort of stick to the ground a bit more as you notice that you have stepped onto some webs. Oh. And well, this is going to be easy to get rid of. And I need everybody. Hang on. Let me just. Zoop. Isn't going to be easy or is fire. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody yeah, snap the uh, grid. Like Smile. Way to, you know, suffocate. And the initiative. Initiative. Oh, don't mind. Let's not, let's Whoa. not set them on fire, please. Well, I'm not going to set yours on fire, but I'm going to clear out no. the other webs. Uh, no, I mean, you still need me to put air in here. Yeah, that's I will note saying. that there is a very good airflow in the cave right now. Okay, at least that's something. <laughs> yeah. Well, that does work. Oh. Nice <laughs> oh, another one. Oh, no. <laughs> Look at these ones. All right. Uh, where's the... There's the button. Oh, God. <laughs> hey, Sam goes first, so she gets to buff everybody. That's good. I go last. I can't buff everybody. Okay. What the Lizzie doing? That's what I want to know. Kill him. <laughs> huh? From from initiative. Kill him. Wait, wait. Ah. Uh, let me uh clear initiative. Not clear initiative. <laughs> no, 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 no. Move token. <laughs> yes, they're going to eat Lizzie. <laughs> All right. So, pretty much, this is an attack roll against uh, Zavar. This attack is at an advantage as you did not see them attack. Dropping from the ceiling is quite a big spider. Oh, oh me oh my. Burning spider. Uh -oh. Yes, as you look at it, it seems to also be partially aflame. Oh no! And it'll oh, make I a bite. Way of frost. It'll make a bite attack against Zanvar. Advantage. Does a seventeen hit? hit. Damn! 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 But piercing Let's... poison and fire. Wow. Uh, yeah, they actually get to have poison this time. It's not a mistake. <laughs> should I, one, sh should I shield? Uh, uh, I'll take it, but only free piercing because of uh, the arm. Mm. Alright, so it'll be reduced. Take that Five, damage. Six, six damages. And as a bonus action, I will do something that you have not identified, and I need you to make a constitution saving throw. Is it magic? Uh, it is not magic. Okay. Alright, you succeed. <laughs> Alright. Next up. Alright. Sun, you receive initiative. Is that the only spider we see? The answer to that particular question is yes. That might be because that's how you asked it. <laughs> <laughs> That is the only spider you can see. Or is there any other ones that we can hear? Uh, you can make a perception check. So far, you only hear the one that has dropped down and begun to attack Zavar. 
music is far too peaceful for this. Um. <laughs> I said spooky combat. <laughs> it's offering me Shrek 2 game soundtrack. <laughs> I'm just playing the Skyrim combat music. Um, Sano use glorious weapon. So every anyone who's using a martial attack gets a d6 of radiant damage. Very nice. And that's oh, that's, so turn. All right, that's all. Yep. Gotcha. Zanvar. Well, first of all, I'm going to. Hmm. I used to probably try to figure out what I was trying to do. I would have yeah. said, um, I used my uh, thing to try to perceive other spiders. Yeah, I will make a check for that. Right. See what it can do. What is it, Marshall? No. Tactics. It's... Tactics, right, right, right. Is the webs difficult terrain or or not? Uh, yes, they are. So the movement is still good because you're here. So yeah, you're good. All right, with a twenty-one, uh, you can identify two of the following abilities. Let me drop them in chat. Nope. They have the following uh, actions: they have bite and web. Bonus actions: they have ignite and injection. They have Reaction Skitter, and Traits Ambush Hunter, Hive Combo, Unrestrained Movement, and Web Sense. Some of those may be self-explanatory. Okay. Yeah, so I wonder what Bite does. <laughs> Hive Combo sounds, uh... Hmm... First of all, guys, don't don't be alarmed. Um, this guy's with me, basically. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> he manifests an echo. <laughs> ah. And yes. Oh. Very nice. Funny echo night Play. time. Yep, <laughs> playing around a little bit. <laughs> and Sonoma will, Sonoma will attack, but the attack will come from the echo. So maybe the spider is dumb enough to attack the echo instead of him. <laughs> mm -hmm. Claymore. I think, are we? The echo will we? not get the d6. Yes. Okay, so is that time of cast? No worries. Um, is the... I have flanking, I'm, I'm assuming. You do indeed. Oh, wow. Ooh. That's a uh, mm. failure. <laughs> I meant damage, uh, though. Yeah, uh, I'm trying to remember. I know Sarek does crit confirms. Do they do crit fumble confirms? First time I've seen it, but I'm not sure. Um, okay. Sorry, I've never heard of it. I don't know. Shrug. Just roll a d20 and see if you roll another one. <laughs> I I don't remember if Zerg does it. If you roll another one, I'll find out. Okay, you're good. <laughs> yeah. Jesus, man. I know Unbound does, and I've been playing a lot of that. Yeah. That's not that's not above a ten. <laughs> Alright. Uh anything else? That's your friend's action, action, and tactics. My, I think that's my turn, yes. Alright. Wait, did, what was what I did identified? Find out? Hmm? Oh, oh yeah, you need to choose something to ID. Oh. Actually, uh, two things. Who? Yeah. The... Written it down, or... Uh, I sent a screenshot of them in Trines of Elderia chat. Oh, oh, oh. I guess I'll go with... Hive combo. Alright. And ignite. Gotcha. So, 
This is Hive Combo. These enemies work together and have abilities that synergize with each other. They oh become boy. more potent than any one in enemy alone. And Ignite is the following. The webs created by the spire are ignited. If you are standing within a webbed area, you take... That is 2d6 fire damage. And if you are webbed by their ability and are pretty much webbed condition, you take 1d6 persistent fire damage. Uh, it should say per uh, layer of webbing you have. Am I in a webbed area where I'm standing? Uh, you are not. Okay. Then that's my turn. Ooh. All right. Can I go? Yeah. I don't like being in a web. They are difficult to rain. Attack with my wow. Mm -hmm. I'll hit and that D six. Radiant and necrotic, yep. depending on what you want. Sheesh. Damn. Let's go. God damn. Only more damage since I've moved on this combat. Holy moly. That's pretty good. Slice of dice. I'm my, uh... i my one. Oh, wait. Doesn't add that. Oh. Monk with a great sword moment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> and, uh, going to section con. Wow. All right, that will hit. Mm. Another D6. For total, total I, damage. That's why I was excited for it, because we have a monk. Yeah. Monk go burr. <laughs> monk go burr with an extra D6 of damage. <laughs> Baller's Gate 3 moment. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Alright. Anything else? Uh, guess I'll do the check. Mm -hmm. Abilities. Tactics. Tactics. Alright, that's sufficient. What would you like to learn? Mm. Skitter. Skitter. As a reaction to taking damage, this enemy can disengage and move up to half its speed without provoking attacks of opportunity. This consumes one stamina. Oh. That's, uh... That's something. That's something. Sorry it hasn't done it yet, though. Mm -hmm. Um, that'll be my turn. All right, Ladeka. All right, so I'm guessing that tossing a firebolt at the webs that are on fire is not going to do too much to him. Please don't. I'm I'm in the web. I'm not going to set you on fire. <laughs> I'm looking at the other ones. Fire. I mean, it's fire. Uh, yeah. Mm. But it would be funny though. It would be funny. Oh. Hmm. I mean, like, this guy's like, this guy's like almost dead. We could probably just murk him now and deal with the webs after. Is he? Oh uh, yeah, I guess. He's well, not almost dead. Low. So, I think I'm 
gonna chill, chill, touch him. I have a silly idea with the to, for the webs, but I'm gonna wait for my turn. All right. To... I'll hit for eight necrotic damage. Yippee! Also, I'll sure. can I Arcana check to see what this guy can do? Sure. Lovely. All right. That's sufficient. Um, Give. freaking, um, uh, maybe web sense. Web sense. Guess what that does. While yep. in contact with a web, the spider knows exact location of any other creature in contact with the same web. Are they blind infected creatures? The spider knows the exact location They're not. of any other creature in contact. So, so like. We're on we're on a web, or if we were on if I was on this web, the spider wouldn't know exactly where I am. Yeah, but unless it was on that same web. Yeah, basically okay, it's I for if it. you're like trying to sneak and then you stepped on oh, a web. Oh, I see. I get it. It would know. All right, anything else? I I uh nope. That's all from you're me, on boss. My web. All right. That's not be is that all right? Do, 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 do. Skitter skitter. Skitter, skitter. Fucking skittering. I'm freaking skittering. Uh oh. Drops down and will uh, make a bite against a 1d3. Number three, oh. the echo. Oh no, don't hit the echo. I don't hate bite that. bite the echo That's with advantage. Oh. Because. <laughs> Miss. <laughs> that guy sure has a 16 AZ. God damn, okay. It's 14 plus proficiency. And you get an opportunity attack from Sentinel. Thanks, ah. thank you, Mercer. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> Mercer! I'll just make it an. Um, well, I make it. Well, no more one for now. Mm. No. Is it a hit? No. That Maybe. is a hit. Okay, then I'll wait. I think also gets the D6 because that's still a martial attack, even if it's yes. a reaction, right? Does the cleave get the D6 though? It's just only one. You I'm only get one D6. Uh, yeah. I don't think the cleave will get the D6. <laughs> wait, did they roll it right? Uh, yep, that rolled yes. the D6, yep. You rolled the full six. Um, and cleave is specifically it. targets next to it, so it would not hit this person, uh. right? But this one gets... Um, this one gets a uh, uh, sixteen. It gets a it gets a trip attack. <laughs> trip attack. Oh, strength save. DC thirteen. Twenty damage. Though. I'll yep. fail. It'll be knocked you prone. Your back. <laughs> and take an additional I... four damage. All right. Actually, I should do it like this, because if they're on the <laughs> roof, they look like that. <laughs> All right. Uh, that will be the spider's turn. All right. Another spider will drop down from the roof here and use web. Uh-oh. Uh, I need you three to make a DC 13 dexterity saving throw. The one in front of him? All three of you. The, so, uh, well, there are three over here, so that's why I was wondering. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, yes, so. the ones in front of him. Not, yes. not the unrelated ones. Oh. Easy. Right. Not so easy for saying about that. All right. Uh, how does that go work with saving throws? Immune to all conditions? Okay. It it depends, right? If it's a condition. So yeah. Yeah, it you is a condition. Web, so yeah, then it's that's the work for him. Yeah. The the webs are pretty much on him, but not applying the condition. Yes. Right. And uh, I rolled a six, he rolled a fourteen. <laughs> <laughs> right. So completely successful for him. He's not webbed. Kanko, you're not webbed. Zavar, you are webbed. Uh, ah. Your movement speed is halved, and you have disadvantage on dexterity saving throws. Uh, 
it takes a action to unweb yourself. Okay, okay. And with that, it will... Be happy where it's standing. God, there's fucking more. <laughs> Smile. Mm -hmm. Um, this might be a problem. There's at oh, least Jesus mm -hmm. Christ. We'll drop Where down. I was thinking I, I'd get to leave this web. Ah, <laughs> uh, you thought. Guys, I don't think whole person is going to work on these on these fellows. We'll make a bite at advantage as it just dropped down. It will miss. Hey, look like people. <laughs> if I believe <laughs> them to be people, then it will work. And that'll be its turn. Lorana. If you believe hard enough, then. Yeah. Oh, I. <laughs> oh, you want to give it a hug? <laughs> Oh wow. Uh, so Step says that I take five feet to like leave mm -hmm. uh, a position. However, uh You, you are in difficult take... terrain. So I can't use step or would it just be ten feet to leave? Uh you would not be able to use step. Okay. Alright then. Uh that sucks. <laughs> yeah. This is looking like a magic missile angle, though. Oh, for sure. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. A, a one on nine and the rest on the other one, ten. Yeah. I'm gonna do exactly that. Uh, one on nine. Everything else on this. Uh, I'm just. I'm not gonna empower it. I don't wanna risk it. I just want him dead. That means there are at least ten spiders. Oh boy. Possibly. Mm -hmm. Unless they're randomly numbered. Yeah, why why would I make a mistake and accidentally put put too many and then have not change the numbers? As well. <laughs> uh let's see. Um, yeah, we're fine. Alright, first missile does five damage to bring spider nine. You will then be perished. Splat. Not me typing six. It doesn't matter. And then missile two is four, missile three is four, yeah, for a total of eight. Yeah, negative DR to four standards. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy, crazy. Uh, yeah. I, mean, I don't really want to eat the AOP, but at the same time, I do have a good AC. I can tank, despite yeah. the fact that I have a D6. It's crit. <laughs> uh happened to me last time. <laughs> Do it. I don't, I don't really want to Do be it. fucking web either. I can provoke an AO. <laughs> Man, this sucks. Why didn't I take Misty Step? What the fuck? <laughs> I mean, to be fair, you are standing next, like, very close to the two party members with Guardian. Yeah. yeah. I'll be fine. Yeah, you guys can use your spell slots and I don't have to use <laughs> mine on shield. <laughs> <laughs> so if, right, we have two people of shield and two people of guardian. Uh, I'm going to. Oh, I I'm do gonna crit. Fucking. Uh, are there any skills that we don't have? I uh, uh, check. I, I, check. Uh, I don't think we have injection or. Yeah, you haven't. You haven't done injection. You don't know the full details for web. Okay. And then I think Ambush Hunter and Unrestrained movement, movement as well. Uh, I mean, a 10 is of... not sufficient. Okay. Just barely. Uh, Alright then. That will be my turn. Nah, not even risking the. Uh... Man, Darn. I don't want to get poisoned. <laughs> no go. Okay. Uh, let's start with tactics. Give me the knowledge. Knowledge, that is know. sufficient. Uh, uh, let's go with injection. Injection. It's a DC 13 con save versus the poison condition. 1d4 poison damage at the beginning of your turns for four rounds. If this causes you to hit zero hit points, you are paralyzed until you are 
Guild of the Poison. Okay, that's an interesting poison. If only we had a way to harvest it. <laughs> so it knocks you to zero HP, and I guess takes you away to, I don't know, get eaten or something. Nom nom nom. Yeah. Um, Normal spider. Alright, now I want to try something silly. Um, mm. Alright, that's 30 feet. I think that's the range on Mage Hand. Where is it? I'm a cast mage hand. All right. What you doing? Here. Or, oh. Here. Okay. And I'll make it wobble the web up and down. Mm, okay, I see what you're doing. <laughs> Try to drive the spiders mad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, make a uh, performance check. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay, pretty good. All right. Right, performance is charisma. Yeah. <laughs> Me when I'm a charisma character. Or a culture choice in performance. Me when my paladin's really good at performing. I forgot. Alright. You wiggle the web. Oh, it's also a plus five. Look, yeah, look at these performer <laughs> performers. Alright, anything else? Uh, I think that's it. Uh, I got a bonus action, but like, there's nobody hurt enough for healing word. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yes, yeah. that's my turn. All right, Brain Spider Nine is dead. The spire will drop down and also fire off a web. Oh. Covering the same no. three individuals. Damn. Can't do that. Uh, as you are webbed, it is disadvantage for you. <laughs> yep. Uh. Uh, you are now under the uh, grappled condition. As you have two layers of web on you. Uh oh. Alright, Kanko, you succeed. And the Echo. Fat vibin'. <laughs> <laughs> vibin'. Is immune to conditions. Yep. Alright, that'll be its action. Um. As a bonus action, it will turn around. And ignite the web. Pretty much burning this web. I guess it's a and, good thing that I didn't try to set these webs on fire, because that seems like they're uh they're four. Yeah. And pretty much as it burns it, the mage hand is no longer able to wiggle it. Damn. I guess I'll go find another web. I mean, I think you were going Yeah, there. spire noises. <laughs> Son, you receive initiative. We all have advantage on burning spider six because it's tripped. Hmm. <laughs> guess I'll just, so y'all should be able to kill that one. Well, so I, I mean, guess I'll isn't it disadvantage for ranged? I was saying, I was saying that y'all have advantage on it, and that y'all should be able to kill that mm. one pretty easily. Yeah. So I was probably gonna target. Start chipping away at number ten. And... Or 
actually, instead, what I'm going to do. On uh, Xanavar, Hanako, and uh, probably Ladika, because Ladi or are you going to be using attack rolls, Elana? Does uh no, I was going to be using magic missile most likely. Okay, so then Ladika. Oh, does it uh, work? Whatever you're doing is going to work on magic missile. It does not. <laughs> yes, it does. Bless. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm probably going to be spamming Firebolt if I can get out of this fucking web. Or Scorching Ray, even. Mm, Scorching Ray could be nice with Bless. Okay, then I'll do it. It'll be um, Xanavar, Kanako, and Alarana. Just get me out of this fucking web. Damn. <laughs> nah. And that pulls in over. I'll tie them. And that will be Sun's turn. Alright. Zavar. You are well. currently grappled and webbed. Yes, I'll have a solution for that. But first, let's go check it out if. More tactics, basically. Alright. <laughs> Damn. That is. A successful roll. What two things do you wish to learn? Uh, we have inject and ignite. Let's take a web and uh, unrestrained. Well, ambush hand, hunter. Ambush hunter, sure. All right. Here is web, and there is ambush hunter. Okay, well, first of all, uh, Zedavar's Echo is going to float over here. Mm, as they do. And then, Zedavar will make an attack. Well, first of all, Zedavar is going to use his bonus action to swap places. <laughs> ah. So I should be free from the web, I think. Uh... Does it consume it's movement to do that, or...? Because uh... well, your speed easy. is currently zero, as you are grappled. Oh, wow, that's true. Interesting. Let me check it out. Yeah. It's been a while since I've looked at an yes. Echo Knight. Yes, it does. Yeah, if it consumes movement, you would not be able to swap places. Huh, interesting. Didn't think about that. I have zero feet because of grappled? Grappled, right? Yes, yeah. because you are grappled yes. by the okay. web. Yeah, then it's still like that for now. And the echo will make, well, I make an attack on the prone one and go into this one. Alright. Make the attack. That is a successful attack. Plus D6. Four. 13 damage onto the prone one. And five damage onto the not prone one. Look the wrong button. Whoops. Like it's gonna be 13 and five. Good damage. And I will use well. Yes, let's do that. Alright. Oh no, wait, what's it? Oh, that's the wrong. Uh, leash. Oh, that's... Oh, oh, I basically just... Yeah, that's what I meant to do. <laughs> mm. um, just a second, I have to look something up. Okay. Yep, just I uh, updating something basically. Gotcha. Because the the first line was from extra search, which shouldn't be there. <laughs> <laughs> You're pushing oh, yeah, your yeah. echo beyond normal. <laughs> oh, I, I guess based on how that's worded, it would get the D6 because it's saying you make the attack. 
Not the echoes making the attack. Yeah, it's my attack. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it will apply the d6. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, same as before. All right. That all does the damage. That will be sixteen onto this and five onto the other one. Yep. Very nice. And Anything else? That and being grappled by the web, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Mm, then that would be my turn. Yes. All right. Yeah, that's a good place. Nope. <laughs> Another spider will appear and drop down. Bloody hell. And let's see. Yeah. It will fire a web targeting Xanavar. Make a DC 13 dex at disadvantage as you are <laughs> webbed and grappled. Oh, I made it somehow. <laughs> You're Good <right>. roll, okay. <laughs> Hell yeah, you succeed. Only webbed twice, what up? You're still only grappled, you are not restrained yet. <laughs> Alright, very nice. Uh, <laughs> hmm. It will use Ignite on this web right here. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> so that will be pretty much uh, make a deck save, a uh, DC 14, and they'll be halved on a successful save. Should have been written in there. Well, wasn't. All right, you take four yeah, fire my damage. Deck save is, my deck save is not that high. What the fuck? <laughs> I mean, you still rolled a 15, so. Yeah. Uh, four damage, right? Yeah. Oh, do you have... You that was bless. bless. Yeah, that was the oh. max bless I came in. Yeah, it was, it was right. bless. Okay. Yeah. Right. So that would be... Was I in that one? Uh... Oh, I'm pillin' doing it. It oh, didn't come back. The... Yeah, um, it's fine. It, like it, it was TV like here. Might have been on it, but okay. I yeah. wouldn't think you. Yeah, you, you, you were not in it. By it. Okay. You were not in it. No. It was a bit close to you. It was a bit spicy towards you. Can I go? Oh. I'm supposed to have proficiency in con, not dex. I don't know why it said that. It's supposed to be the way around. There we go. This guy's cheating. Bam! Can't believe you're Bam cheating. <sighs> I'm reporting you to the Cyric police. Man. They are going oh, to man. shoot you and kill you. Yeah, like they they're much like the American police force in that regard. Yippee! Oh, topical. <laughs> so can I go? It's your turn. Please. I just realized I should have. I didn't realize you were casting Bless. I should have asked for Bless because I was going to do Empowered Magic Missile. Oh, yeah. Because you, you, you get I wasn't even, Yeah. I wasn't oh. even thinking about it. Oh, well. It's fine. I mean... Oh, well. I also have Bless. The worst that could happen is that I, you know, roll on the Spell <laughs> Mishap table wow. and something horrible happens. Oh, oh unfortunately, a, Miss. Oh, uh, I... <laughs> Well, it what? is in that one. Oof. Oh, man. Yeah. I, I don't think Sarah does bumbles, yeah. I'm I'm mixing up my systems. Could be, we don't uh, know, really. <laughs> yeah, but that will unfortunately miss. That'll hit. That can bring Spire 7. And 4. Main 
on the extra d6. And 13 damage. Very nice. Anything else? Um. No. Nah, that would be much. Alrighty. Ladeka. Alright. Never stop gambling. I'm gonna empower spellcasting magic missile. Don't stop me now. <laughs> uh, ignore that, I think. Uh oh. <laughs> Spaghetti. Ha ha. Ha Alright, so the spell fails and you can't use magic for one round. Oh no. So. Uh, does that consume both your action and bonus action? Um, I don't think so, but I don't really have anything I can do with my bonus action. Well, well it, can, it, 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 it consumes bonus your bonus action. action. Yeah, so you still have your action left. Wait, I'm confused. Uh, overclocking oh, took it is the bonus, bonus action. Oh, it is a bonus <laughs> action. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well... Well, first let me get oh. rid of this spell slot. Goodbye, spell slot. <laughs> I have three more. Um, oh. shoot. <laughs> I, I kind of only <laughs> cast spells. I don't really have anything I can do as an action. Yeah, you punch should him. run up and, oh, oh. <laughs> run up and oh, punch hell, him. Hell no. If you, if you hit, you get an extra d6 of damage. True. No. <laughs> you would never do, do that. <laughs> she the extra d6 is kind of good. <laughs> Slap yeah, that spider. Not. Sounds like Leduc is a fucking pussy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that yeah. wasn't obvious. She is a pussy. Uh, anticipating the potential for like another spider to come out and like potentially look this way, she's gonna like go behind here. Would this count as would this corner count as half cover? Or should I go one more square? Uh, that that would count as half cover. Yippee! Uh, all right. Do we need to discover anything? What do we got? What do we got? Uh, I think. I think we have everything that's. I think we don't have unrestrained movement, and that's it. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Let's see if I can get anything for that. Or resistances. Yeah. Oh. All right. Well, uh, what two things do you want to learn? Uh, What's with you guys and rolling that twice on Marshall <laughs> like I checks? You guys do that so often. And uh, resistances yeah. and or vulnerabilities. All right, vulnerable to cold damage, resistant to fire damage. Oh, I cry. Damn. Oh, I have ray of frost. <laughs> oh, that's actually good information. Smiley yeah, face. Yep, and they cannot be restrained, or they're pretty much they cannot have their movement reduced in any way. Yeah, resistant to fire, I cry. Man, I did. I did make a nice enemy for you. Next enemy will be a nice enemy, Pats. <laughs> Do for you guys. I just gotta get to level three, and then I can not care about resistance. <laughs> Alright, anything else? He's dead. Can't believe he's dead. I am. Darn. Moments before I was about to kill him, too. I believe all the spiders were about to go and just. Is this plant like five spiders right here? Yeah. Get <laughs> just. Oh, <laughs> uh, whoa. Wait, hey, what's going on? <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that, that was your nightmare <laughs> nightmare nightmare you wake back up not surrounded by spiders <laughs> anything else uh just to clarify so is it one round starting now or is it like the next round i also can't cast magic uh, it says for one round so uh i believe that's inclusive so it would only be this round okay not that bad then. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Burning Spire Six is dead. Burning Spire is 
no number is live and I I mean it's a tried and true shoot out another web and hit multiple targets or do I just yeah it's, it's just going to uh make a buy attack against Ganko I believe that will hit unless Is this one we guardian? Um. Okay, and go once. That's ten damage. Going twice. twice. Uh, who is this on? Can I go? Which one? Can I go? Yeah, it's on me. Wait, wait, hold on. <laughs> How okay, we? Th we're both in range, so. Either one of us can. Yeah. Uh, you both do it. Oops. Oops. <laughs> Plus 10 I see. Yeah. I'll just say I already used one of my small slots for plus. Alright, sure. Why not? And then I'll hit, I'll handle the next card. Alright, does not hit. Wow. Burning Spider 10. I mean, if you're going to continue to just be standing in front of me. Uh, give me a deck save. Okay. Uh, hmm. It succeeds it. Easy nice. Spot. Just do a flip. Hey. Your turn. I can't step, can I? I you would be able to step. Uh the webs aren't thick enough to cause difficult terrain. Okay. Uh <laughs> I'm stepping. Okay, so Lizzie is safe. Now what about <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm glad Lizzie's yeah, safe too. I think that's it. Uh now, I could Ray of Frost them, but I also have Scorching Ray, and I am desperate to cast it. Uh, <laughs> no, no particular fucking reason. They're resistant to it, don't you? I don't resistant care. Dude. I don't care about resistance. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. you. Elemental. Right. So, oh, you're level uh, three. Good job. I'm going to do the best of both worlds. I'm quickening. <laughs> oh, I'm I, I thought you were going to, like, uh... Do the thing where you turn it into a different damage type. I'm gonna transmute spell. Ray, uh, scorching ray, the one in front of me. Just the one? the one directly ahead. Yes. Gotcha. Just all of it. Mm -hmm. Hit! 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 Crit. Four. Two. Ah, um, let me look at its health well, number. It, is it crit? No. Well, no, that it's. No, the, the crit to damage was because of the, no, that's the advantage, advantage. Yeah. advantage one. Right, right. Hey, I'm confused. What are you guys saying? No, don't don't worry. No, then don't, don't worry about crit damage. Why would it? Oh, it's because, a seventeen. Because, okay. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah I see. I see now. Okay, so that will be four. Plus 18, 22. Wicked. Pretty nice damage. Okay. Now that that's out the way, I'm going to... I I do have Ray of Frost on here. Good. It's going to be fucking mental. Uh, that was my bonus action. So my action on the same one, I think that misses. That will bless. indeed miss. Uh, is... is Bless in that? Bless is not it here. is not. So it will hit. Wicked. On the same one, right? Same one. Doop. It did. There's now two bodies right there. Easy it's fucking it, game. It's like Resident Evil with the spiders now. You're just stacking them. Alright. Uh, I still have like half, like 10 feet of movement left. I can take another step back. Like, oh, it's just there. Uh, and that'll be my turn. Lining this up to all get left. 
Okay. Right. <laughs> I have a question. Yes. Uh, how do we remove the webbing? Action, I think. Action. It would be an action to remove the webbing, or you can use fire damage to destroy the web. Or can I use mage step. hand to remove the web from someone else? Uh, your mage hand is special, correct? It's, yeah, it's double weight. Uh, for you, the answer is yes. For anyone else, the answer would have been no. Okay. Uh, you got I'm the power gonna, to do so. <laughs> I'm going to use Mage Hand to clear the web off. Uh, I fucking love how it says, you know what this does when it's a special version. <laughs> <laughs> like, Thank yeah, you. I forgot to edit that. All right. You spend your action removing the webbing from Zanvar. You are no longer grappled or webbed. Thank you. Oh, it just straight up. Okay. Can I miss all of it? Mm-hmm. Oh. Pretty awesome. Damn, that's good. It just that's takes good. the action to do so. That's good, Pappy. Um, uh, can I perception as my thing to just like, are there any others around? Yeah, you can roll that perception. Alright. Oh. Um. There, there's gotta be at least 20 more coming. <laughs> you hear skittering. I think there might be a few coming from behind you as well. Like, they're, the walls. they're everywhere. Hang on, let me bring back the ones around uh, Lodeca. <laughs> <laughs> this is what you, <laughs> that's what you see. <laughs> Alright. Uh, yeah. That'll be you. Burning Spire 9 is dead. Burning Spire 8 will make a bite with a 1d2 as there are two targets within range. Two, it's Anavar. Ah, yes. That's a bite against you. That's a 21. What's your no AC? I've got 17, but I also have Sentinel per long rest. So that'd be better for you guys to keep your spell slots. Uh, yeah, I'm going to just... Oh, you're also 35 feet away from me, not 30. Yeah. just going to do that. Gotcha. I'm shield. going to spend my... I'm going to spend the HD dice. Three. Right. So... Three. One random creature, including yourself, takes force damage equal to the number... Not including myself. <laughs> That takes force damage, yeah. So one of a creature within 30 feet takes. So either Kanako or the three spiders, because it's not a creature. Mm hmm. Alright. So, one, two, three, four, five. Not including myself. Is it not including yourself? It says in text. I vaguely remember it saying including yourself. Let me. I mean, it's from the. Uh... Aberrant Dar Dragon Mark. Yes. Yeah. Remember looking at this because I was thinking about picking this up on Quinn. Um, I basically copied it. I don't think. Not including yourself. It. Yeah, it's weird that it's cut off. Okay, so 1d4. <laughs> Let's hope for not a 2. Yes, hey! So, <laughs> so Burning Spider <laughs> takes 3 damage. Alright. Yep. <laughs> uh, Spire will be unsuccessful for its bite. And will... Mm. Mm. I'll attempt to skitter away. I know you have Sentinel. Yes. He always uses, uses the accent though. I have lightning reflexes. Oh, you have lightning reflexes. Nice. Ah, yep. look at that's, you. Uh, that's perfect. Good. Very well aware of Sentinel works for the minute, so yeah. Alright, make the attack uh, roll. Claymore. Warmer. Oh, it. It will not be able to leave. Yes. And a d6. Ah. Yep. Oh, right, right. Oof. I'll be 10. Outro. Well, that's its turn. Sun. Uh, uh. Uh, 
Um, this is at Burning Spider. Um, Burning Spider 10. Mm-hmm. All right, that will hit successfully. Oh, max wall damage. Mm -hmm. Are you pulling it towards you? No. Unfortunate. <laughs> could have been funny. It could have been funny. I could, could have been funny. Right. I could, have, could have pulled it right here and then stepped right here so he could web us all. <laughs> could, could, could have been very funny. <laughs> could, could have been. All right, it's taking damage. That's All right. Zamba. Well, I'm unwept at the moment, which is good. Indeed. Just gonna... Can I move through him? I, yeah, you are able to move over the dead bodies. Yeah, I'll stay like that, I think. My echo is going to move. Well, it's going to move like that, and the text will come from the echo still. <laughs> and I'm not going to take the burning spell eight. Should hit. That'll hit. Kill. All right. Which one are you attacking? Oh, eight. Eight. Gotcha. And no cleaving, so sadly. Yes, Wait, roll the d6. Oh, right, 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 right. <laughs> Glorious weapon is so fun. Alright, that's gonna be 12 damage. Kaplow. Anything else? Thinking about extra search, but I think that's... Oh, no, it's short rest. But I think, well, Kaleko is going to take care of burning spider. Yeah, just extra search and give it another one. All right. Roll that attack. Ooh. Ooh. That will not succeed. This is unfortunate. Uh, yeah, if, even even precision that, attack wouldn't help. That yeah, that is also a natural good. one. Now ones uh -huh. always miss. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Then that's my well. I make a just perception check in case anything else wants to drop down on me. All right. Cause that seems like a, a team here. Mm -hmm. All right, with a 14, you don't see anything ready to drop down on you. Okay, that will be my turn. All right, Burning Spider will... I think for a moment, I wonder if it can get this angle. That's 20 feet. It cannot get that angle. <laughs> hmm. The burning spire will move away. Or can I attack of opportunity from you? That'll hit for thirteen plus the D six. Alright. We'll hit for seventeen as it Makes its way around the corner and vanishes from your line of sight. Oh, it's going stealth mode. <laughs> no longer able to be seen. I thought Burning Spider 7 was dead. Burning Spider 7 is... is dead. Oh, did I just take the wrong turn? I think so. <laughs> You took burning. That was normal burning. Spider. Oopsie doopsie. Hello, I'm back. 
Yeah, I go, it's your turn. Do you want to keep that roll? <laughs> from the greatsword? Because it shouldn't have been able to walk away from you. <laughs> Alright, that'll hit as well for 7 plus d6. God damn, alright, 13. Nice, nice. And that will unfortunately miss. Even with plus? It's a... 14. Yep. It's 14, I think. Oh, shoot, yeah, you're right. My eyes are blind. No, I have my glasses. It's dead. Damn. In the alternate cool. universe, that spider's still on the roof somewhere, hiding. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Waiting for us to go buy it again. Alright, anything else? Nice, nice. Ladeka. Hmm. I don't think I gamba again, just in case there's more baddies. <laughs> Chill touch burning spider eight. What are the odds you fail again? What are the odds? I mean, there's no Gamba? reason, dude. I'll if save my now, gamble for later. later. Gamba, gamba. Oh my but god, peer it? pressure. You know what? You Fine. Want to get peer what am I saying? <laughs> Never stop gambling. Always be gambling. I hate hey. all of you. I hate all of you so much. I hate all of you so fucking much. <laughs> Wait, did you roll the same thing? <laughs> I rolled one less. You got the same effect. Ladika holds her hand out, and once again, the uh, her the magic like sparks and like like shocks her, and she can't use magic again. It's what is good. going on? I I don't know. <laughs> I. It doesn't usually happen. <laughs> <laughs> Performance I'm, anxiety. Uh, take your time, time, I guess. <laughs> um, you guys got this. She like slides further back into the corner. <laughs> I can't do anything, brother. <laughs> Have fun, guys. You should at least use cantrips first. I would love to. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get demonstrates by trying to shoot a firebolt, and the and like the the mote of fire literally just oozes out of her hand and onto the ground. Mm. Oh god, that's gross. Oh goodness. <laughs> oh, burning <laughs> spider. Um, we got flanking on Zavar. That sounds like fun. Oh. We should use that. Oh right, I forgot about that. <laughs> it will take a bad attack against Zavar. That's a nineteen to hit. Yeah, that he hits. Is anyone making this not hit? It's I... fine. It's, it's I... fine, I think, a little bit. Okay. Probably. Yeah, the the issue with their attacks is not the is not the damage, it's the fact that they can like poison you with the bonus action, I'm pretty sure. Makes sense, yes. Mm -hmm. <gasps> and poison sucks. It really sucks. It do. It do. I'm 35 feet away right now. Yeah, so I can I can block it, but it's just like, is it really worth it at this point? <laughs> when it's just Whatever like. Whatever you guys want. Uh, I have lesser restoration if anyone does get uh, uh, fucking hit by poison anyway, and a, and that's oh. just a free one that I get every long rest. So. Oh. Okay. So then it's probably. I just let it happen. Yep. All right. Eight damage. Mm -hmm. After reductions, yep. And give me that con save. Hey, at least if bless. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Fine. See. Ooh. Ooh. That does include the bless. Yes. Yep. Very nice. The bless is only a one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You would have succeeded without it. <laughs> so you pass the save. There you go. That's uh, bring Spider 10's turn. Lorana. Uh, I'm done burning resources. I don't want to do that anymore. 
Uh, I'm gonna look at number eight and then shoot another ray frost. And yeah, that's gonna miss. Indeed, it will. Indeed. All right, that's my turn. Good turn. No go. Um. Hmm. Let's see, nobody is webbed. Uh, uh, I guess... I guess I throw fire at this guy. And, you know... Uh -huh. Oh, I guess I don't. <laughs> Much like Le much like Ledeca, it sort of just hurts your finger as you try to firebolt. Yeah, is there something oh. wrong with this cave? Maybe they're stealing all the fire. It's it's not the cave. I can promise you. <laughs> That's the cave. All right. Well, I'm gonna keep looking for more spiders. All see right. if I can see the, all those ones that I thought I saw. Uh, I thought I heard uh, last time. Mm -hmm. uh, with an eight perception check, you don't see any of the sp any of the spiders that you thought you heard earlier. They're right. moving. Burning spider eight will use his action to attempt to disengage. But Sentinel doesn't let that happen. Let's see if it works. Uh, mm -hmm. in if. Depending on the case, I might use precision precision attack. Mm -hmm. Just saying it now. Yep. Uh, Claymore attack normal. That's yeah. I'm going Thalmus. to use precision attack. Or precision. Yep, that should. I'll bring it 12. up. I'll bring it up to twelve, which is exactly the AC. Perfect. <laughs> as 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 I meant to. Twelve. <laughs> Plus 1d6, 17. It did. Awesome. Sun. I'll hit for 6 damage. If Sun was chaotic, neutral seed pull it. It would be funny. It would be funny. It'd be funny, be, it'd funny, be funny. We're gonna kill it. But uh, she's not going to. Hmm. Zanvar. Well, well, well. So now I can just move over here. Hmm. And Echo will just go here. Gotcha. And so well, and Echo attacks. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, just shenanigans, I guess. Oh. A D6. Alright, that'll be 14 damage. That's my uh, perception check because of the hidden spider. Mm hmm. Oh, nope. It might be somewhere, you never know. <laughs> yeah. Spooky. Alright. Burning Spider 7 is dead. Can I go? I'll hit. Wow, it's dead. I'm really hitting things. <laughs> <laughs> that I you. look. Alright. And now, as the cave falls silent as all the spiders facing you have been defeated, it is quiet enough for you to hear the scream of 
what could be described as the scream of a spider, but in pain, in anger, a bit of a mix of both. It seems that something is upset deeper within the cave. And that yep. is where we are in today's session. Awesome. Can we, are we able to run towards the scream so we don't lose bliss. <laughs> um, considering that there are an unknown amount of other spiders in here that could chop it on us at any moment, I, that, that, that doesn't seem like a good idea. <laughs> Maybe well, you I got, can cast, I can got cast six more rounds. Mm -hmm. Okie doke. I can cast blast again and I can cast, I can use glorious weapon one more time. Yeah. I can I also... lend the, the crystal if, if you want to cast bless. Without expending a spell slot, I also got bless, so uh, I think we good. My freaking magic missile, man! <laughs> I, saw four, I saw four spell slots, level one spell slots. El bozo. Technically, I have four because of. I the can crystal. get a. I can get a third. Or I can get another uh, spell slot back. Actually, uh, question: Can I get sorcery points from the crystal? That has a spell in it, or not? Um, or like, can I burn that? <laughs> hmm. Hmm. I mean, you could take the spell out and then convert it. You have to pretty much, you can't directly take sorcery points for it. Okay. Alright. Yeah. So would it be like an action and my bonus action to do that or something? Yeah, it's an action to take the spell out of the crystal. All right, cool, cool. For that, all right. Time for me awesome to end stream. Yeah, I'm glad you enjoyed. Give me one moment. <laughs> I hope you guys have enjoyed the stream. Until next time, take care, take it easy, farewell, and goodbye.